All right, everybody, welcome back. Run of the uh, we are going 100% bug snacks with conception. Uh, S underscores come. Uh, hello, gentlemen, and I'm gonna just pass it on to you. Hi, uh, yep, that's me. My name is all right. This is Ness underscore. How's it going, Ness? Hello, I'm Ness underscore. My pronouns are they, he. Uh, doing today i'm some big action yeah i hope sorry oh world class world class gamer we're, we're going to be seeing some major and we're going to be seeing all 100 percent. so gonna be i'm pretty excited to get started let's say all right let's malcrios here actually malcrios pick a color orange yellow black Ooh. uh well let's go black sounds good all right, so that's going to be the main character. We're going to be going to see a lot of it, but you know we get to see the hands and the feet and all that. Uh, start new game here. Time I've seen loads in, so I'll do my best for you. Okay, three, two, one, go. Perfect. All right, so yeah, Ness, you want to talk about what Bug Snacks is a little bit while I focus on definitely the hardest jump of the game, which is about 20 seconds in? Yeah, I can definitely vouch for the difficulty of this jump, but yeah, um, Bug Snacks is a game revolutionary. It's the most video game of all time. Bug Snacks is a creature. They're part bug, part snacks. Uh, you got to catch them in your trap, as the popular song by. Karakuro Benito says, um, basically, they're, they're just these little dudes, and, you know, some of them are like strawberry, some of them are burgers, some of them are potatoes, some of them, are, I don't know, just cool snacks, and in the 100% category, you have to catch all of them, it's super cool, and you have to do all the quests, it's, it's pristine, best speedrun of all time, except for the fact that it's 2 hours 45 minutes, but who's counting, who's, who's counting really, not me. But yeah, it, yeah. Could vouch for the game. It's really, really good. I am uh, noteworthy that I am playing on the PS5 version of the game. Uh, you can also play on PC. There are very minimal differences. Um, the differences get wider as uh, the estimate goes up. So like for any percent, there's almost no difference in the run at all. Um, when uh, and no major skips, which is kind of like the any percent glitchless, quote unquote. Um, there's like a couple routes that you can't really hit because you can scroll text speed faster in the uh, PC version than you can in the um, console version. Um, and then 100% there's just some like key key things that you can't do, namely that there is a glitch in the PC version where you can feed a snack to one person and completely transform them. I can't do that on console. Um, so I have to uh, feed feed 14 snacks to transfer somebody, uh, transform somebody, which that probably doesn't make any sense yet, but it will later. Um, yeah, that's definitely a mechanic that we'll get into in maybe like 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Well, as you can see here, we fed Philbo some snacks and his limbs turned into bug snacks. So you can kind of you can kind of pick up what we're putting down in terms of transforming. Ah, jeez, I was worried that might happen. Um, that's a lolive up there. Loves to get in our trap. So you got to kind of throw the trap down pretty quick. I'm going to see if I I never get this skip. Let's see if I can get it, though. Uh, I'm not going to get it. Nope. I can actually try and jump over this bush before uh, Philbo starts talking, but that's all right. Yeah, there's actually a skip that you can do to skip this entire section, but it's not allowed because you'd be skipping quests, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, um, you can do a mini version of the skip right there, but it's not really super important. No, it doesn't save a lot of time. Yeah, like two seconds optimally, probably, maybe three. Um, just depending, because you got to catch all these bug snacks for one, and like Ness said, we have all these quests that we have to do. If we skip areas, it shows that we completed the quest by the end, but it, we didn't truly complete the quest, therefore we didn't truly 100% the game. So we got to complete the quest, actually do the quest, so we actually meet the requirement. Um, I'm going to focus a little bit on this section if you kind of want to explain what I'm going to be doing here. Yeah, so conception, I think this section uh, gets a slingshot and picks up some ketchup packets to uh, guide this this uh, bunker, I think it's called, I don't remember what these guys are called, this bunker to this corral to make, uh, to do, I forgot his name, the, the farmer's quests and then uh, he uh, 
fling some more ketchup packets in different places uh, for different bug snacks to go to different places uh, set, to set up for cycles later on. And then he throws the trap down and scans on it. And if he if he times it right, then he, uh, he can kind of clip the trap through the floor a little bit and catch the frighter on the ceiling of the cave below. And it's really fast and it's really hard. <laughs> I've gotten the cycle one time, maybe. But I also don't run the game, really. I just kind of know the tricks because of this cool thing called Bugsnacks Bingo we might talk about later on. Ooh, yeah. I haven't talked to Rob about Bugsnacks Bingo in a while. But yeah, so basically, yeah, that's exactly right. We did a number of things there. Um, uh, we did the quest to corral the bunger in there as intended. Wambus is the name of the farmer. Um, then I, like Ness said, I clipped my trap through the floor so I could catch a frighter through the floor. That saves about five or so seconds as opposed to catching it normally. Uh, normally we'd have to lure it off the uh, the ceiling with ketchup and then catch it um, like you would at any normal bug snack. We also throw ketchup in very specific places to get the bungers to not only run into each other, but to run into other uh, bug snacks to stun them to make them easier to catch, namely the shishka bugs. Uh, they're relatively uh, annoying to catch because they like to run and then once they're in the bush, they're in the bush. Uh, you have to like get them to you have to like get a bunger to tackle them out or something um which if you already already caught your bungers then that makes it pretty difficult let's get this over with buddy but pretty harmless area overall we got all the all the key tricks and cycles there so that was good well yeah that was that was pretty clean pretty clean uh this is philbo by the way we didn't even talk about philbo um so philbo because is like the de facto mayor of this area, which is called Snacksburg on the island of Snacktooth Island. Um, this is where the bug snacks live. And the, these creatures like Wambus and the Philbo, they're called Grumpuses. We're all we're Grumpus as well. Um, they're like furry humanoid type creatures. They inhabited the island to like study bug snacks, learn about them um, and of just vibe off the yeah. island and see if it's like a sustainable way to live. Um, but uh, they've all gone their separate ways because their matriarch, their leader, uh, Lisbert, has gone missing. And without Lisbert, you know, they kind of fall apart. Uh, Philbo tries to keep them together, doesn't work out too well. Yeah, yeah Philbo isn't the best leader of all time. Not yet. Not yet. But, you know, at the beginning, definitely not the best. But uh, at the beginning, I, I think this was mentioned a little bit before, but... Conception did this thing I've called the intro skip that skips this three minute unskippable cutscene, um, explaining basically everything that we just said. Yes. Um, it saves a lot of time. It's pretty difficult, but um, that thing at the beginning where he jumps onto like the side of the bridge and just like continues with the game, that skips a three minute cutscene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where yeah, very very lore heavy. So we don't get to see the lore, but you know, we get to skip a bunch of stuff. So that's nice. All right, so we're gonna try and move through this as quickly as we can. Let's see, so we're gonna jump up here. There is a weenie worm, which is a hot dog bug snack here. Yep, that's what I was hoping would happen. There we go. Kind of stunning here. We're gonna chase this one there. Grab that. See if I can hit this cycle. Nope, not even close. That's fine. Just gotta wait for that to come back. Actually, I'll wait. I'll wait until it lands again. Um, but so what we have to do here, we have a quest for another Grumpus named Befica. She's kind of like a, a, a gossip queen kind of kind of thing. She kind of tries to learn everybody's business and stuff like that. Uh, she wants us to scan six types of bug snacks in the area. Luckily enough for us, if we catch them, it counts as scanning them. Um, so we just do that instead since we need to catch them all anyway. Um, and then we'll need we'll need the uh, weenie worm specifically for her next quest, which is to feed her her favorite bug snack, which happens to be a weenie worm. Yeah, and speaking of catching bug snacks, uh, we have inventory space in this game. I don't know if you've noticed, in the bottom left-hand corner, there are these six little circles. Um, so, yeah, as, as you catch more bug snacks, it'll fill up, and you can carry a max of six at the beginning. Um, you can get more later on by donating oh, bug snacks oh, to... I forgot his name. <laughs> Gramble. Uh, yeah, to, to Gramble's, like, bug snack sanctuary, basically. Because... Uh, uh, there's a lot to get into, but he's like a bug snacks vegan, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, Oops. No, 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 but yeah. don't go back to sleep, don't go back to sleep. All right, thank I you. Don't go back to sleep. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, the more you donate to him, the more inventory space you get, but definitely the routing at the beginning is pretty tight on, like, what bug snacks you need, and it's, it's going to be pretty, like, concrete for a little bit. Like, not much flexibility. 
Yeah, um, and there, especially it's like a hit like really good cycles. There are some bug snacks that we'll need for the quest later on that we need to hold on for a while, hold on to for a while when we catch them. Um, so, you know, that becomes difficult when we only have so much space to deal with, but we'll work to uh, upgrade that as soon as we can. We can't even upgrade it right now if we wanted to because we haven't even met Gramble yet. So we have to go meet Gramble and do some quests for, for him first. Which we're gonna do right now in this new area, Simring Springs, which is like a beach. Um, so Snacksburg is kind of like a hub, by the way. You can tell um, that's like the centralized version. And then they all, there's areas that branch off from there that unlock, you know, over time. Um, so this is the first one that unlocks here, which is Simring Springs, which is kind of like a you know a, be a beachfront area. Um, we also have some new sauce here, which is chocolate. You you saw me fling the ketchup here. Now we got some chocolate. Um, little cutscene where we meet two. Uh, Grumpus is here. Gramble, which we mentioned, is like a, a bug snacks uh, pacifist and vegan. Doesn't eat bug snacks. Just wants to love and take care of them. Wiggle is somebody who um, had a hit single. Very good musician, um, but can't like recapture that fame and that notoriety. So that's kind of like they all have their own unique little personalities, which is what I like about the game. Yeah, this the game writing is like really really good. Yeah, and honestly, sometimes it's too good. We'll get into that later. <laughs> yeah. Um, worth mentioning, definitely play this game casually, by the way. Because um, we are doing 100%, so you will see, like, all of the side quests, all of the bug snacks, all of, like, the um, legendary bug snacks fights. They're all the content. You're going to see it all. But because we skip through a lot of the dialogue, we don't get all the story exposition. Um, but it's definitely, <laughs> definitely worth doing. Um, you should definitely do it. Um, this game's pretty affordable. PS5, PS4, um, and it's on the Epic Game Store for now, but it is going to be on Steam later this coming year. Uh, yeah, this sorry, game's 2022, fantastic. not this coming year. But it's really good. Play this game. It's very, very good. It's like, what, $20? Yeah, 20, $30 at most, and it's usually on sale, so. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try and do two double catches here, if I'm successful. All right, there's one. And then we're gonna try it for the second one here too. This one's a bit harder to hit. It's also a tough, tougher cycle to get fast because now it was basically we're waiting for this crabble to pick up this pinantula here. Um, if you get luckier, you can hit a quicker cycle, but it didn't that so happen? But we did get the double catch, which is nice. So nice. All right, we're gonna throw the trap here. And then we're meant to be doing a quest with a buggy ball, which is a new tool we just got. We're supposed to lead it through a whole maze and stuff like that. Um, so we figure out how to use it, but you don't have to do it. You can just target the end um, and then it will run the maze on its own. So it basically it was running the maze this entire time while we were doing these other quests. Um, and now I've summoned it to uh, come out here on its own as well while I'm turning in quests with Wiggle. I don't know if you've noticed this, but like Wiggle's arms are like really short and it makes me uneasy. Yeah, especially when you turn one of them into a grape. It's kind of strange. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine if you fling the ball. Just get over here. All right. So this quest involves leading the Queebles to Gramble. You can't catch them. You have to lead them. Right. So I'm going to wait for that. It's very tricky to time because you don't want to go too fast, but not too slow either. We're also gonna try to do this. Let's see, so far so good, just keep coming. As long as they get up these rocks, it doesn't matter where they go after that, they'll stay up here regardless. So, looks like- sometimes they can like fight each other, right? Yeah, if they get too close to each other, or if they get too close to the ball, then they'll start flinging, the, trying to fling the ball and stuff like that, so it creates a lot of problems. Um, but that went well. Yeah, usually whenever I see that, it goes a lot worse. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna sleep in Gramble's bed till noon while he takes his time walking over here. Uh, we just need that. You you probably heard me earlier uh, say don't go to sleep, don't go to sleep, because then when you have to wake up somebody to talk to them, it's a process. Um, it, they have to like wait, actually like wake up, and it it takes a long time. All right, and while Gramble's walking away here, we're just gonna catch a few bug snacks just to fill up our inventory as we walk out. He's definitely a little bit overstating the sleeping thing. Some characters are a lot worse than others, but yeah, Philbo is like the usually one. it's like a few seconds. Right. Yeah, Philbo is the one that we needed to would have to have wake, woken up here if we didn't change the time of the day. Um, and Philbo takes literally five seconds to wake up, so it's it's it's, it's it, it wastes a lot of time. Where it takes like 
you know, a second to change the time. And honestly, it didn't waste any time anyway, because we'd have to wait for Gramble to walk over there before we could turn into the quest anyway. Yeah, but it, it adds up over the course of, the, of, of like a two hour run. <laughs> yeah, it certainly does. Actually, let's go get uh, things first. So this is the first of four parties or celebrations that occur in the game. Basically, every time you, you get a certain number of Grumpus is to return back to Snacksburg. So we got Wambus, the farmer, Gramble, and then um, Befica. Um, Philbo gets excited and he wants to throw a party celebrating that everyone's come back together. And these are more or less glorified extended interactive cutscenes. Um, you can't really do anything to, you can't do anything to progress them faster unless like you have something you need to do like for example in this one we had to talk to each of the guests so like we can control how fast we talk to them but once we're past that objective we can't do anything we just have to wait for it to play out so um there's not much to be done here however we did pick up one collectible while this party is going on which is one of the reels so um what makes this category 100 percent is not just catching all bug snacks you have to complete all side quests you have to do all the interviews because we are a journalist so we're here to like interview everybody on the island um so we have to interview everyone do all their side quests and collect all the clues um the clues meaning you know where did lisbert go and how do we find her um and the reel is one. the first reel there is one of the clues there's like four or five reels a bunch of maps notes and stuff you know, we just have to collect through the run i've honestly never seen any of them like i've never like gone out of my way to like find them or anything yeah all right Okay, so let me get my notes up here. So I have I have a checklist, not like actual run notes, but I want to make sure like I don't miss stuff. So I have a just a note here about doing things in the proper order, and making sure I don't miss anything. Basically, um, we turn in every bug snack here, so now we have an upgraded inventory, and then we can head into our next area. Oh, so like my ten minute estimate was pretty accurate. Okay. Yeah. I was like, it might be like 15, 20 minutes from now, but yep. Um, so here we are, Scorch Gorge. We have to do a number of things here. Um, first, we, we didn't finish, finish Wiggles quest lines back in the springs because we didn't have all the necessary bug snacks available to us to do that. Um, mainly we needed pop ticks, which are those things right there, but you can't catch a pop tick when it's in a seed form. You have to pop it like it's popcorn. How do you not break that? Like you're in the door. Um, so we have guys to, being silly. Yeah, we have to uh, catch them on fire. You can see them in the distance there. They are now popped, and later on I'll catch them. Um, so we need those for Wiggle, and then we have to obviously catch a bunch of bug snacks here for a quest. We're going to... Nope, that didn't work out, so we're going to try it on this side. There we go. Um, we're meant to catch these chi poofs, which are like flying Cheetos, in a different manner. But we catch them this way, um, just because it's easier. There we go. We can catch, just throw our trap in midair. Uh, because it's a little bit faster. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in each area there's uh, one one person that requires uh, at least one or two bug snacks from different areas. So you have to like backtrack for them later on. Yes. Um, in the first areas, yes. Uh, once we get into like the uh, extended areas, that doesn't happen anymore um, because there, it becomes a little bit more open then. Um, and yeah. since we have access to like all the areas at that point already, it doesn't make sense. You can just like do everything needed. So the, all they become more self-contained there. Oops. There we go. Uh, this is Cromdo, by the way. He is the used car salesman of Grumpus's. How I always describe him. Makes no sense until you like hear him talk. Yeah. Pretty much. Um. Okay. So you're gonna come with me. Come on. No, don't hit that. Come on. You know where you're going. There you go. So we gotta catch some Thanks, things. Buddy. I don't wanna catch you both, so please get moving. There we go. One of them. <laughs> please somebody move. Thank you. They they just looked at it and they were so confused. They're like, wait, what do you want us to do? Yeah, they usually run away from you like pretty easily, so that was bizarre. Um, I right. expected him to, to like run away too. I was like, what? Yeah, that was. Why odd. did you not? They just stood there. Yep, that was that was certainly strange. Oh uh, yeah, this uh, 
This buddy being here actually might save us a little bit. We'll see. Let's see if he attacks the Scorpania, which is what I'm hoping he does. No, he can't reach him. <laughs> he tried so hard. That's so funny. Oh, I didn't land in the water, though. Get in the water. Hop in there. Come on. I might hop in. Oh, no, no. no. Basically, what we do, we, we cheese this this uh, little puzzle a little bit by uh, catching something that's on fire. Come on, there we go. Okay. Um, and then letting it land in the water so the trap is no longer on fire. It's basically what we do. Um, you're going to come with me. Yeah, come this way, please. Uh, we also need to get a spuddy, so that's why I'm trying to get, get our boy over here. Come on. Basically, yep, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. Ugh. There we go. We wanted the two spuddies to attack each other, and then we got one last cheap poof we're gonna grab right there. Uh, we can let go of the scorpion. Again, letting go of things isn't that bad, uh, because if we don't need it for a quest, we don't really need it in general. Yeah. Unless we're gonna like donate it. Yeah, and which we we wouldn't be able to anyway because our inventory is full, but we are gonna feed Cromdo a bunch of stuff to complete his quest right here anyway, so we're gonna free up some space. Yeah, a lot of the routing in this game is mass catching a bunch of stuff to make a bunch of cycles, and then just menuing to feed stuff. Yep. Um, okay. Let's throw... It's you. Oh, it didn't hit. Okay. Interesting. I definitely thought that hit. Yeah. Also, I hate how you have to throw a rock at this dude. Yeah, I don't like it either, but like, it's not harmed, it's just to get him off the wall. That We're, no, we're not harming them, that's how I choose to look at it. I mean, I, I step on bugs all the time. So, eh, it can't be that bad, but it's still weird. Yeah, I don't. I don't I'd rather like step on a bug than like throw a rock at a bug. Yeah, it feels very much like a kid with a magnifying glass a little bit. But we got to do what we got to do. You know, I can't control it. Oh, so well, I want if you just like recode the game. It's not that hard. Yeah, easy. So um, we're this is Trifony, by the way. We're we're doing her quest as we speak. Ooh, I might be able to sneak a double catch here. Let's see. I think I... Yes, I did. Wow, nice. That saves nice. a lot of time. <laughs> um, they just so happen to be right next to each other, which is great. Um, usually what I do is... So Trifony has to like run over to these hieroglyphics. So while she runs over to it, I capture one of the pop ticks. And then while she runs back, I capture the other. Uh, because we need her to finish the quests anyway. Um, but because I capture them both at once. So I just got to wait for her to get back here, basically. That so saves the uh, most optimal amount of time, I think. Did you find that definitely makes up for the weenie worms just like yeah. sitting there doing their own thing. Yeah. Um, but that that was a, that we did everything in that area, so that was pretty efficient. Not too bad. And just then to save loading to be at the beginning just to, to walk backwards. Yeah, which we will do a lot. Um, fun fact. So the PC version of this game um, has a patch that actually has fast travel. Um, so you go into your menu, go into your journal rather, and then you can just fast travel to get around to places. We don't have that, unfortunately, on PS5. Um, I literally asked the developers today. I was like, is that is it coming anytime soon? Um, just seeing where they were at. And right now they're working on so much other content for the game. Um, that they don't they're going to basically roll out the new content and the patch all together is their plan um, So that that is when it'll come to content uh, go, Come to consoles rather so that's when I'll be looking for it basically I was, I was so prepared to do my usual spiel of young horses. Please please give us a patch and you just Yeah, I sold my plans. I can't believe I, this. my curiosity got the better of me. I was like, I just need to know like what's going on I just had to Did know. Did you DM them on Twitter or something? No, I, I messaged them in their official server. Oh, true. I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. People can have servers. Yeah. Um, so now we can finish Wiggle's quest here. Um, she wants two pop ticks. So Wiggle's going to return. Feeding her grapes and popcorn does not help her arms look any longer. No. Did I catch it? Nope. I, I used to be able to hit this cycle. So basically, while we would go and turn in that quest with Wiggle, I would wait here for this thing. Oh, it's because I did too early. That's why. Wait for that sweetie fly to land there, and then I would just catch it while Wiggle was, you know, talking. But nope, now I got to wait for it to cycle back. Come on. So how was your day? Yeah. Any, <laughs> any, any time, any time. Come on back, friend. Yeah, you can't be too jittery with these little guys. There you go. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta wait. You gotta wait your turn. You know. 
All right, so we're gonna do some exploits here. We're gonna sleep till midnight. We're gonna come up here to these rocks. We're going to attempt to do another double catch here. It's gonna be set up there. Where that cool Changing go? time resets the cycles, right? Yeah, it, it, can, it resets the cycles. It also makes it so there are some specific, like, um, bug snacks that spawn only at night come out and stuff like that. Come on. You're not done. What? Huh? What? What is going on? What is going on? Okay, that was odd. Let's try that again. Okay, well, no, that's not the one I needed. Darn. Um, let's see, what can I do to save this? I could reload if I need to. Let's do it Do it this way instead. You could reload, but this is a lot more interesting. Yeah. So tr the, the Tropica bug is just like the Shishka bug in the way that if they are in the bush, they're in the bush for good unless you get them out. So I would have had to reload the save there, um, which I really don't want to do if I can avoid it. So hopefully we won't have. Let's throw those there. Sleep till 5 a.m. Where are my... Where are my boys? Try that again, I guess. Sleep till midnight? There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Baja talk roach. There we go. And we're going to restart the save here. Oh, I should have slept first. Darn. That's okay. We can just sleep over here. It just takes longer. All right, so we're going to sleep till 5 a.m. again now. And my cycles are now all messed up, too, I'm sure. So we're going to we're going to be dealing with some interesting stuff here here in a little bit. Also, I can't think of the Baja Takroach without thinking of Baja Blast. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. I mean, like, that's what I would want. I'd want you to think of Baja Blast. Why isn't there a Baja Blast bug snack? Get him. Yes. Oof. Thought he was gonna pick me up. Alright. I was definitely a little bit nervous about that. Yeah, that was that was a little bit sketchy, but we got there. Yeah, so those wa uh, waft stack racks only come out when you ring that triangle. That triangle only comes out once you have wiggle um back in camp and then you have a you know you've at least reloaded a save or something. I'm also playing two cutscenes at once here. Just to save time. I can't believe you're speed cheating. Speed cheating, yeah. Bug snacks right now. Oh, yeah. Nothing like um, so fire, that went everybody. fine. Ultimately, it's it wasn't great to clean up, but, you know, we got through it. Um, anyways, so this is par uh, party number two. Um, like I said, there are four parties. This is by far the longest and the most boring one. All we do here is we'll have to go fetch wood. Then we'll have to go check on Philbo. Then we'll have to go meet some new grump grumpuses. All this is just walking. Um, I will point out, what is that? All right, it's gone. Up on top of the um, Real but yeah, curious. and this this cutscene oh, is a lot. It's animal. like seven minutes. Dog. So if we Dog. have uh, if we have any donations, mm -hmm. plugs, incentives that we want to talk about, now is a great time for that. Can we talk about something else? Well, all right, we don't have any donations yet, but we will. Uh, I will talk about uh, the, some of the prizes that we do have. Uh, so we do have uh, for a five dollar donation puts you into a. Uh, raffle if for a perler set, uh, or for one of two perler sets, and for ten dollars you get you, you can get a GOC tumbler and T-shirt. And as I mentioned previously, oh. the T-shirts are incredibly the comfortable. Kind of vague, uh, we also have, as for incentives, uh, we do have quite a few incentives uh, to put oh, your dollar amount towards the. the, the we do have a Hades upgrade all weapons that is coming up you know, tomorrow time, evening. Bones. It's at twenty six dollars out of two hundred and fifty, uh, so we got a little bit of I'm ways to go. A lot of uh, bid wars it. available, the chill uh, the so no shortage of options oh, there. Right. So please, uh, hey buddy, uh, would you mind take a look at the, at it's anything that uh, might interest you and put your money towards that.
yeah absolutely um i always like to uh propose this as well so um whenever i do a bug snacks okay. run Where were we? i always um, like to point out that i can do a pretty good bunger impression all right zombies? and i love doing no, the bunger impression no but the only thing i love doing let's, more than the bunger impression is seeing some donations easy. so if we have any donations that come in wanting me to do the bunger impression i will gladly do it but you got to come through with the donations all right you mentioned the bunger impression i will do it live on air for you as many times as it takes so, so we can raise money for uh for cancer research and all that the only thing i love more than conception sr doing the bunger impression is the donation train for conception sr doing the bunger impression make him do it as many times as possible it's not that hard just exclamation mark d in the chat and put a donation and no then, limit. Uh, no limit. I'll do yeah. it as many times as you want. You might regret that, but no limit. Uh, Make me uh, regret it, though. Uh, Make uh, me regret uh, it. That's what I'm trying now to say. Hold on. You say yeah. The rumpus has turned cannibal? I'm done. That'll be a better thing. Yeah. Got the stomachs yeah. for it. Consider that a call to action. Is that how a call to actions work? I don't know. Late one night, but uh, we're going to say that's how it works. If you like me. When I got closer. <laughs> Um, yeah. This is it. Charity yes, work right here. This is yeah. This is this is charity work. Yep. Um. Yeah. So by the way, uh, you can see we have five. Well, it, it's technically six. Philbo's in the bathroom. Um. So there's six Grumpuses left. I'll tell you that there is twelve total that we have to get back to come back here. So to give you a reference, uh, in terms of like story beats, we're like halfway ish we're not nearly halfway into the run so don't don't worry about that <laughs> that would, we'd be on incredible pace if that were the case um yeah but we have there's to do a lot so of much, extra stuff like, yeah yeah there's so much content in this game yeah <clears throat> which is good it's a good bang for your buck in my opinion um i actually so, uh, yeah like i said i'm playing on the ps5 version i this was like one of the first games that they had for free for ps5 for like the pace, playstation plus users so i got it then um, and I haven't really Darling, stopped playing it since, so yourself. it's an incredible value for me because I didn't even I didn't even buy the game. So, um, yeah, play the play this game, play this game. And if you're waiting for the Steam release, I, it's in 2022 sometime. I think they said January, but don't quote me on that. Um, they got some time. I wish this cutscene was almost over, but we still have about three minutes. So. Um, it's, we still got a lot of time. Oh yeah, Bug Snacks Bingo, I mentioned that earlier, we yes. didn't bring it back up. Right. Um, the time. Yeah, so I have recently developed a list of, of bingo goals for Bug Snacks. Um, it's a quite an expansive list, it's pretty long, uh, of all kinds of things you can do. Um, it's a very interesting way to switch it up. Um, so if you're interested, uh, you can join the Bug Snacks speedrunning server. Um, and I have the list posted there and all the resources you would need to get started with speedrunning uh, bug snacks and doing bingo runs. Um, it's really, really fun. I did a blackout card not too long ago. I did the I blacked out the card in like an hour and 14 minutes or something like that. So it didn't take me a long time. Um, I'm sure anyone could do it. It's really easy to pick up. You just got to, you know, especially if you've played the game before, it's really easy to pick up. But yeah, yeah I've never run the game before. Um, I've just, like, played through it a few times semi-casually, um, enough to know, like, what tricks I would need for bingo, and I've, I've done a couple of bingos for fun. It's really, it's really fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. There's lots of fun goals in there, lots of good collectible finds or, like, interesting stuff. Um, I'm even thinking about, like, trying to route in a, uh, like, an all-achievements run or all-trophies run. It would be all-trophies for me since I run on console. Um, because beyond like just 100 percenting the game there's some like really interesting trophies like hit hit a crom dough with some sauce or something like that um fully transform gramble who doesn't eat bug snacks so there's some interesting challenges there i'm really mad that they make you do that yeah it's really unfortunate i feel i feel so bad yeah it, it, you do feel a little guilty so the way you transform gramble if you are to complete that trophy or if anyone's watching and wants to know how to complete that trophy um is gramble sleepwalks every night so basically while he's sleepwalking you find him while he's roaming around and you feed him snacks that way and it feels pretty bad um but you know if you want to get the trophy that's how you do it if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But That is Chanlo, by the way. By far. Love that guy. Yeah, by far a fan favorite. My chat loves him. Uh, pretty much everyone I know loves Chanlo. Don't worry, 
he's like the uh, the himbo I'm of the group, fine. basically. <laughs> But, uh, he's, That's not even an accurate. He's just a himbo, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's he's, he's a he's a jock, but he's kind. You know, he's not mean or anything like that. Like other stereotypical jocks. Um, he is gay as well. He has a boyfriend who we're about to meet. Um, so that's you know that's another reason why this game is wonderful. There's a lot of like unique representation that you don't see. Um, there's multiple LGBTQIA two plus couples. There is a non-binary uh, Grumpus as well. Um, so a lot of a lot of really interesting perspectives. Uh, went into this game, which I love. The ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack. Yeah, the this game is Ancho. fantastic. Not not even like for that. It's just fantastic, oh, fantastic in general. But that definitely adds to it. Yeah. All right, so we're hitting this cutscene because we're going to donate some more bug snacks, but we need to make sure we keep specific ones. Namely, we need to keep the the green peel bug and the spuddy. We need to keep those two. Very important. But we want to donate so we could get up, you know, towards that inventory upgrade. We have to max out our inventory as well for the 100% category. So we not only do we want to for inventory space, but we have to for the category. All uh, right, cool. We're going to do some nifty tricks here, hopefully. Even w even without like Ooh. having to do that for 100%, it still honestly would be worth it to do. Yeah. N maybe not all the way, but like definitely still worth it. Yeah, definitely to a degree. I have never missed that cookie before. I I just completely misplaced where that trap was supposed to go. But here's the here's the strategy. We throw a cookie at that honeybee so they stick together. We need both. Uh, unfortunately, got stuck by one of them. Got slimed, bro. And uh, I'm not gonna even be able to reach him, am I? It's gonna be going too slow. Come on, go. Nope, unfortunate. So we're gonna have to throw. Oh, jeez, just unfortunate. So we're gonna have to throw another trap into the sky. Oh, that didn't even land. No, not. Oh, my gosh. This is a disaster. <laughs> Nothing is going right. All right. Let's try that again. Throw a trap. I definitely feel your pain right now. <laughs> yeah. Throw the trap. That's what we need. OK, we need two honeybees. Um, we need the cookie. That didn't go high enough. Come back down here. He's nothing. Nothing is going right here so far. There we go. There we go. Catch that. Uh, in a way, so the sales are so common. hard to like catch just because of the, like their location most of the time. Yeah, they're really frustrating. Uh, we're gonna just throw that trap right back down there. Uh, another peel bug right here. It's a tricky one. It actually comes out the same hole that you place the ball in, which is unusual uh, to the rest of the peel bugs. Um, but I think that's like a little fun quirk that they do. It's pretty fun. Yeah, so that didn't go well. <laughs> I messed up like every key part of the trick there, but that's fine. We got all the bug snacks we needed in that section, so ultimately it's fine. It probably just wasted like a solid, I don't know, like 30 or 40 seconds there, maybe. We'll find out. Yeah, as long as you're not like completely killing every cycle imaginable, I feel yeah. like you're fine. I'm kind of worried about cycles in general at this point. Um, so there's one yeah. bug snack, one bug snack only in the entire game that's grabber. really annoying to catch because it, so it only comes out when it rains. Um, that is the caramel but pop I tick, and it's only in one area as well, of course. Um, so basically, if we set up everything right, um, we can get it to where it lines up really well with us having to go to that area anyway. But because I had to sleep some extra times, I'm now worried that I passed the rain cycle. Um, we're we're going to see when, it, when the time comes, but... Um, we might ha be having to sleep for a while until it starts raining, which would which would be really unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even think about the rain cycle. <laughs> yeah, that that's the uh, main cycle I was most worried about. Um, so we we play basketball like everyone intends, which is just to put the basketball on the bottom of the hoop as opposed to shooting it through. That's what everyone should do, right? Oh come on! And I left my trap over there, so now I gotta wait for it to spawn back. There we go. Okay. Now we gotta catch one more. Send a snail. Ooh, that's really far. Also, I think in the, get it. There we go. I, I think in this game, uh, traps go further than you do when you like, put them on a launch pad, right? Yes, yeah. It, it's weight based, so we're basically too heavy. So whenever we launch ourselves with a pad, we don't go nearly as far as we would if we uh, put something lighter on there, like a, any other trap or a, another bug snack or something like that. Yeah. I mean, it's still useful to like fling yourself sometimes, um, especially with like movement and stuff. Yeah, but that's actually not really to like get yourself like over to that platform with the Sinus Snow. 
No, no, and it's not even worth it time-wise. It's just faster to uh, catch it that way anyway. Um, but um, that's actually, so you that that's one like trick that, uh, that occurs in this game, which is uh, super bounces. Um, so basically you can throw that launch pad out and then um, basically um, if you time it correctly, um, Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. Let me focus on it. All right. There we go. Um, if you time it correctly, you'll get the launch like you put an item on, but it will uh, launch you that that far anyway. Um, it's you can do it on console. It's just a lot harder to do on console um, because you don't have the ability of like doing keyboard and mouse FPS type stuff. Um, but you can do it. I, I usually don't even bother um, because it doesn't really end up making a difference. No, and if you like miss it, it's, it's slower, right? Yeah. Yeah. So on console, I feel like it, it's not really. Please run to the tree. <laughs> oh my god! Why is the license dude not ran into a tree yet? Please! Oh my god, he's gonna Oh, this freeze. dude is gaming out of his mind. Oh my god, <laughs> every part of this has gone horribly. I hope these, let me see. Yeah, these refroze, great. So, all right, jeez. No part of this has worked out the way it's supposed to. I'm basically redoing everything. Oh no, oh no, 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 this is terrible, okay. Uh-oh. All right, so we're gonna, we're doing back, uh, backups on backups right here. Um, okay, let's go back up here, try this again. No, it's it's, split. it's, it's over, it, it's split. I'm gonna have to come back and get that another time. Um, jeez, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I gotta figure that out. Did you, re is it really too high? Unbelievable, okay. That's so funny. Unbelievable, all right. I okay. thought you were too low, honestly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, 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 what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Um, I'm gonna have to reload after I catch this car mallow, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Come on. Boy, oh boy. This is usually one of my favorite sections in the game, but it has been giving me a lot of trouble lately for some reason. Um, okay, so let's reload. And hopefully, I'm not entirely confident that the Bopsicle will reform when I reload. I'm not confident on that. Um, that one will say one piece because I caught the other one. I hope that this one reformed. Is it just gone? Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Let's put some jams on! Not now, Is it just gone? Yeah, it looks like it. I think it's just gone. <laughs> That's so funny. And is this one gone too? Yeah, so I... Wow, I really don't know what to do. Um, Because I not only do I need the big piece, I need the other small piece too to continue. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave. And then come back, I guess. Oh man, I've never had this happen before. Uh, I didn't think both of them would be gone. Yeah, I didn't think. Yeah, I thought. No, I honestly thought I would have the. I, they would. I. My concern was that they would all be single. Um, popsicles still. I was not concerned that they wouldn't show up at all. That was not never even a concern of mine. Um, so that's unfortunate. Let's try and re-enter the area now. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, hopefully this works. Popsicle? Yes, okay. I'm not even messing with that one yet. I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna do this one up top first. Okay. First, extinguish from a distance. I don't even want to get near you. Okay. Guys, just Tokyo Drift in over here. Well, I, what the heck? I have never seen this behavior. I'm gonna reload actually before before they extinguish. I've never seen this happen. Like I've never seen the Bobsicle behave this way. This is like completely different than what I'm used to seeing. 
Let's try this again, question mark. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. And you catch both of them. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, usually that, that's not supposed to happen. It's supposed to be like what happened just then. Yeah. Fine, hit me. Yeah, just whatever. It's just, yeah. Now just extinguish yourself because I need one more. Oh, I already I caught three of those. That's fine. I'll just throw one out here. Got a quick moment for a couple of donations? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, while we're scrambling here. Go for it. All right. Well, we received a $16.25 US uh, donation from Steve TV Online uh, with no message, but we also received one of $82.08 US. Also from the, uh, both of them through the GOC website. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your donations. And thank you, Steve, especially as uh, one of my mods. So thank you so much. Friend of the stream, Steve Fre TV Online. Yeah, absolutely friend of the stream. Thank you very much. Uh, just for context, by the way, that lost me three and a half minutes total. Were um, your splits accurate? <laughs> yeah, my splits are, this is against my world record, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, was, that, was, that makes it even more painful. Yeah. I thought it was like against the average. Nope, that, that was against world record. So I was about a minute and a half ahead of world record. Um, oh. But then I am now t t three minutes oh. behind world record. No, man. So actually, four and a half minutes that cost me. Did the math wrong. But oh, that's okay. We're still having a good time. The estimate is very, very, very generous. So no yeah, worries. Yeah, generous for stuff like that. Yeah, and okay, yeah. Well, honestly, not. Nah, I wasn't even thinking of stuff like that because that has never happened. So, but other stuff, yeah, exactly. other stuff has happened before. So I, I knew some tricks would fail or whatever. Yeah, especially if you get bullied by some bosses. Yeah, which hopefully we don't. But you never know. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Ah. Great. So well, now we're doing a bunch of interviews since we've had a lot of people come back. We again, we just need to do this. Um, oops. We need to do this for quests anyway. But also, they give us important quest items that we need to unlock other clues and other bits of the uh, information and all that. So it's it's very useful. Yeah. So we do four interviews here. Uh, yep. Uh, and and that is that is the segment. <laughs> yes. Yep, just just getting these interviews out of the way. Well, and I am really curious as to what my rain cycle is going to be now. <laughs> oh boy, we might have to sleep like twenty times to get rain. We'll find out. Um, yeah, hopefully, rain comes pretty quick. Yeah, or maybe uh, miraculously, maybe it's not like um, maybe it's fine. Question mark. Yeah, hopefully it's fine. <laughs> I don't, I don't anticipate it being fine, but maybe it'll be okay. All right, one last interview here with Gramble. I heard. Without. Uh, can I just have a quick moment to read the message in one of the donations? Yeah, of course. It was provided in chat, so I'll just uh, follow it up here. It's just uh, it's Steve TV saying uh, it's such a big charity to, uh, for him to donate. It's not just because it's you, Conception. Okay. Just to clarify that. Okay, it that's is, good. It is a. Uh, it's tradition, and because uh, they've lost uh, like we're six family members to this terrible disease, and also the end is nigh, and our doom approaches. <laughs> I assume that's something. Yes, that that, that would uh, be that some good quotes. With. Some quotes for this game coming <laughs> up. You'll see. All right. This yeah. game is bright and cheery and very cool, very cute, except for when it's not. But I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, there's there are some turns, and uh, th those both those quotes occur near the end of the game. We'll uh, we'll just leave it at that for now. All right, so we uh, we sleep until midnight on purpose because there's a couple bug snacks in this area. Actually, uh, yeah, first let's do these actually. Uh, a couple bugs that well, bug snacks in this area that are dependent on it being night over day. Uh, we also need to get this barbecue bunger, which is a variant of the other bunger, um, but it's like a you know it's a barbecue burger. There you go. I've seen that before, but like in my mind, it's still still wild. <laughs> how how that works? Yeah, you just have to. It's very. It's a little bit precise location wise. You just have to have them run straight into that same corner that you're in. But it works out, so no complaints. 
All right, you have to specifically turn Kromdo's feet here into uh, the popsicles. Dude. Imagine walking with like popsicle feet. Yeah. He, the reason why he does it. Oh, wait, I didn't see if it was raining or not. It is not raining. We'll have to sleep in indoors then. That's fine. Um, so we were usually if I had done all the cycles right, it'd be raining right now. Um, it is not. It is not raining. So we're going to be doing some sleeping here. Hopefully we don't have to sleep for too long. Basically, I'm looking in the left hand corner there. To see if it's changing uh, from rain or not. Um, I think I can also flash the journal here and it'll give me an idea. Um, yeah, so no. No. Uh, 12 a.m. So we're going to fast forward to 12 a.m. Then it should be raining. Okay. Whew. We're going to have to do some strange stuff here. You don't usually do this segment when it's when it's like midnight, right? No, I don't usually do it then. Um, it's going to be interesting. To, yeah, we're going to have to wake up some people, first of all. Woo, wake up animations. Yep. Nothing to why the um yeah usually again very much so that uh everyone is awake at this point uh normally now we get to wake up everybody who's asleep all right we get to feed him that spuddy okay now we know why everyone left i understand why everyone left next group now yeah it's because it's, it's because philbo just gets out of bed from the bottom who does that yes yeah, I mean, That's it, so strange. There is there is some strange stuff, yeah. Yeah, there's some Honestly, strange behaviors. <laughs> yeah, if I saw that, I would leave too. I'd get the heck out of town. Alright, so we're gonna interview Triffany here, because we, we would do it now anyway and get one of the clues. And then we're gonna immediately talk to her again, hopefully before she gets back to sleep, so we can take a warp for a quest here. And then she's gonna warp us directly to the area where it would be raining anyway. Oops. I'm back, Triffany. Don't sleep, don't sleep. Oh, yeah. I, I wanna call the first. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, alright, so she warps us back to this front area, which is Flavor Falls, uh, which is where we started, basically. Alright, all right, so we're gonna run over here. That is a regular Rudal, too, so I'm gonna have to sleep another time. Because I need it to be a, uh, I need it to be a white rudel, which only occurs during the daytime. But it's more important to get the caramel pop tick than anything. So, yeah. Okay, got the ruby. Let's get the olive. Wherever you're at, where are you? Where what are fruit you, is that? Um, I think it's grapefruit. Not, not entirely sure. You're talking grapefruit. about the peel bug, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's supposed to be a grapefruit peel bug. Like a ruby red grapefruit. Oh, never mind, that makes sense actually. Yeah. If I could have gotten up there on time, we could have been fine. Where where are you? Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we can toss the ruby peel bug. We're gonna run in here. This is where the caramel pop tick is. Yep, only when it rains. Interesting. My trap broke for some reason. Why did it break? Yeah, I don't know. I have I'm no so idea. I... Come on, Pop Tick. Girl, get stuck in the corner. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> it would have been fine if you like left it for like a second. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I'm just gonna toss it. We need, we'll catch one again later anyway. Okay. Jeez. Uh, all right, we need to take a picture of this. <laughs> this is going way off the rails, but it's going to be all right. All right, uh, we need can toss the green lala if we don't need that. All right. Turn in these quests. Oops. Crouch, please. Thank you. This, all right. 
and when you can feed Trifony the Ooh. pinkle. Ooh, you might well. Buttle, let's head. Um, that's not correct, actually. We're not gonna spawn there. Um, all right, I can't sleep anywhere here. I don't believe so. We're gonna we're gonna skip. So you have to go back this. all the way through. Well, I'm gonna I can sleep in Grove, and I need to catch some stuff in Grove anyway. So I'll do okay. the Grove cleanup, then sleep and come back real quick. It's, it does waste time, but. Oh, true. I forgot you, I forgot you can sleep in Grove. That's the actual. Wait, you gonna do it now? You gonna do it? You gonna do it? Nope. Let's see. Where are you going now? Are you gonna do it now? We need to catch this cob hopper. It's completely RNG as to what tree it wants to hop to. Of course, it doesn't want to hop to any of the ones that I want it to. It just wants to keep also, hopping I'm, between that. I'm reading the two. chat real quick. And just because it's true doesn't mean you have to say it, okay? Maybe, maybe some people don't want to read that. Even if it's true, and even if it's right. I don't want to see anyone in chat comparing... <laughs> comparing her nose to Squidward. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I was really confused what happened. Um, oh my gosh, come I just on. do not want to see it. <laughs> Please hop to another tree. Please. How oh. unlucky is this? It's just RNG. It's there's three trees that hops from one, two, three. I just place a wire between two and three, and it just keeps hopping between one and two. That's that's all it keeps done. I, I feel like if you switch it now, it's gonna like. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? It's gonna go to the other ones. Yeah, what? It's gonna it's gonna hit while I'm gonna do this, of course. But I'm gonna leave the trap there. I'm gonna go sleep. I'm looking. Oh, okay, good. This absolute pro gamer, just not even looking. Sleep here. That's a, this is a, a, a clue. It doesn't really lead to anything. Okay, can we make it? Let's see. Tree parkour time? Tree parkour? Nope. Ah. Oh. <laughs> nope, the bush was blocking it. I didn't have a shot. Let's see if we get good RNG. Nope. Hop between the other tree again. Do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. He tempted it. Yeah. Uh, all right, there we go. We needed that one anyway. Like Wait. if this happened at an eight percent, something like this, like obviously, like you'd be like a little bit more like frustrated. Yeah. Because like the category is so short, it's so optimized. Yeah. But, like you can't even be, you can't even be mad if it happens at one hundred percent. No. Like the, a lot of this stuff is like I can nothing I can control here. Like this is this is RNG. Um, the, some of the bad cycles and stuff that's on me for sure. Um, but yeah, you, know, you just gotta, you gotta, just gotta live with it. All right, now we can go catch the white rudel. <laughs> that's over here. Okay, I thought I didn't get it for a second. I heard it pop out, but we got it. Okay, so we got everything we needed here. That bad RNG and stuff, and like no, me taking the rain cycle when I did, also cost us another. It looks like two and two and change minutes, probably. Yeah. So at this point, we're just gonna be doing a bunch of side quests, right? Uh, yes, we're gonna go into side quests here. Heck yeah, we're just yeah. So we're just gonna be doing a bunch of side quests and then interview and then another honest roller party. Yeah, honest roller no. party. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit more to do on that one, but not much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> M most of them are just like catching sticks on fire and like yeah, stacking cups and catching them on fire. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. All right, hitting a couple of cut scenes that we need to do here. Yeah, I'm about. I gotta. Uh, if you go gonna feed some aggressive meaty bug snacks, which we're gonna do the bur burger we caught and then one each of the sandipedes. Yeah, I, I, that one probably went quick. Yeah, there was a, basically a centipede uh, super sub that it breaks up into four pieces, which is pretty cool. It's very useful for this side quest in particular. Yeah. Um, let's see. We need to also... Let's see. Befica is who we need to go to next. Uh, it's like later on when uh, you do some super secret bosses and uh, we're able to just like catch all of them because they, they have like the inventory space and then just like do someone's entire side quest line. Yep. Basically, and we'll, yeah, we'll be able to knock it out really fast. Basically, there we go. They're just like, feed me snack. Now feed me two snacks. 
you're like, I have ten. <laughs> I have ten pieces of cake. <laughs> yeah, you can have. Yeah, you can eat fourteen sushi rolls if you want. Um, if you okay. want, you can eat a watermelon. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we grab a couple more reels again, needed for one hundred percent here. Um, we're gonna go run to Wiggle. Uh, she has a pretty quick wake up animation, but we're also waiting for something to happen now anyway, so we're not really losing time. Um, basically one of the quests that uh, Befika has for us is we need to see what Cromdo does at midnight. Um, and Cromdo goes on a long walk and goes to dance up at the top of the hill, basically. And that's what he we didn't hear from us. Yeah, you didn't hear from us. No, 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 Okay, all right, let's try this now feed the white sheep poof cheese. Okay, L again, it doesn't matter. We're waiting anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But um, yeah, he, we, have, we have to wait for him to walk all the way up there anyways. So not not the end of the world. We're going to grab this bag of poop. That's going to be important for later. Um, and then we're going to go see Cromdo dance. There he is. Not away, not He's feeling himself. Get up everybody. We've all been there, you Come know. On and do the wiggle with Everyone's me. got their midnight thing, you know? Do the wiggle. Do the wiggle. My midnight thing is playing League of Legends, and then immediately regretting playing League of Legends. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, fun wiggle. fact, he is dancing to Wiggle's song specifically. The song that made Wiggle famous, her one hit wonder. Is somebody there? You didn't hear anything, pal. You got that? Which is Not called Do the Wiggle. Beat. Kinda named it after herself, so. Alright. Uh, and while we're up here, we'll we'll snag an interview real quick from uh Ramdo. Oops. On one. Imagine going to like a used car lot and then like around back you just hear some music and you like go and investigate. And it's just some yes. dude doing whatever that was. Yeah. Whatever doing the wiggle, there. apparently. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll just go check out where the boat was. That'd be kind of wild. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it certainly would. That, that's how it feels, just like uncovering this for the first time. Oops, I should have slept in the ship until noon, but that's fine. All right, so we're going to go here. We're gonna go talk to okay. our boy. You're doing a, in fact, Bilbo. The bed we actually sleep in in Snack, Snacksburg is actually kind of interesting, at least yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I think so. It's uh, it's Lizbert's bed actually. Um, she's not using it obviously, so uh, we can we can utilize it. The reason why we end up utilizing that one beyond it just being empty at night a lot of times is that for so, sometimes. So when the bed any bed is unoccupied, you can actually sleep in it. Um, However, sometimes when you sleep in an unoccupied bed, but then go fast forward to a time where somebody should be sleeping in it, um, it creates this little bug that you can't sleep in any other bed, even during the day, for like one day. Uh, one in-game day, rather. Um, so you you, have, you would have to sleep in Lisbert and Lisbert's bed anyway, because it's the only one that would have been open at night. Um, so it just it's just like a weird little bug that pops up sometimes. Um, and oftentimes it's faster too. There's also a bed in that ship up there, which is where I should have slept after Cromdo because it's faster to get to. But you know we had to jump down anyway, so it didn't really waste any time. I seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Um, and then this is yep, party number three, and there's really not much that we're doing here. Basically, somebody has broken into the camp and has left all kinds of clues, and we're just trying to figure out who it is. So I'm going to scan some clues, and then um, we're going to have a long cutscene. So if we have any donations, plugs, incentives, anything like that now is a great time for it. You say that again. We currently do not have any new uh, no new donations, what uh, but I uh, just want to remind everybody that we have some wonderful some prizes and incentives that you can donate towards. Indeed. Uh, we should some of the incentives include and keep watching a bid wars for the Silent Hill Homecoming. Um, uh, you can choose a song for the D4DJ group you know, you know, mix. Find out what they saw. Uh, uh, Mega Man 7 uh, Shade Man OSD, you can choose between the original or the alternate. Uh, there's Color Bid War for uh, Cyber Shadow, Character Bid War for Battle Axe, uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 uh, also has a Color Bid War. Uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. Be some other uh, you can upgrade Granted to Wable. Legend Hunter. I believe that voice. might be a def hmm. uh, difficulty. Monsters, a bit of a prejudicial uh, and uh, uh, Dungeon Explorer to upgrade to any percent. Animal. 
princess no plus animal, crown guys. cam we're witnessing the queen uh, of bug and snacks the in two big uh, She's a water! big budget incentives oh, here sir. hades upgrade all likely, weapon but it's so far uh, unseen uh, giant bug run which is for tomorrow or and the Little Mermaid cosplay. The What's more likely I mean, for, I believe, Sunday. Yeah, awesome. Bunch of really good incentives. Definitely want to hit those. I definitely want to see those and check out what interesting bid wars, you know, get chosen for, like, those song choices and stuff like that. So get those donations in. And uh, like I mentioned, I do a pretty good bunker impression. And uh, I'm surprised no one's mentioned it yet. So uh, I'm happy to do it, but you got, you got to put your money where your mouth, where my mouth is, I guess. In a way. Um, you got to put the money where the Twitch chat is. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's for a good cause. I did realize as I was going through my little checklist over here, I, there's one quest I forgot to take from Gramble, but um, it it won't really affect anything. I can just do it after this party's over. Um, we're gonna do a couple of side quests right after uh, right after this as well. Uh, and we're going to be start after like one of those side quests is going to lead directly into a one, one of four legendary bug snack encounters that occur in, in the uh, the run. So I'm very excited for that. We'll we'll cross that bridge a little bit when we get to it. We just have a few uh, mini games that we'll have to complete after this first. Um, one of them is really easy, and one of them is literally probably my least favorite part of the whole run because I'm so bad at it. Um, it's but... the best part of the run. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm so, so bad at it. It is um, the best side quest in the yeah. entire game. So the first side quest, the one we grambled that I accidentally skipped is we have to lead a Queeble through an obstacle course. It's pretty simple. Um, and then the second one is going to be with our boy Chanlo right in front here. Um, my beloved. Yeah, and he, basically there's going to be a bunch of weights placed throughout the uh, Snacksburg map here that are like hanging overhead and basically as he's running That's underneath them you have to dr time it so that you pull it with your grappling hook and drop them on top of his head so he can carry them you know he gets he's trying to bulk up that's like his whole his whole deal um, it's like mega cardio yeah it's so hard to time out for me for some reason like i gotta just sit there and practice this game i guess because it's just so difficult i don't know why it's so hard for me let's go get some sleep um at least at least you're you're better at it than me because the first time i did it which is the only time i've done it Took me like 15 minutes or something. It's so, it's so, so long. All right, so we're gonna do this obstacle course first. Okay. So basically we just shoot this with chocolate and then lead the Queeble through an obstacle course. It's not tricky at all if you know like the best path to take basically, which is you got to go down and around uh, Befica and Wiggle here because they love to like just pick up the ball and make give like hassle you. Um, but they're the only real obstacles. The other ones is just they're basically like physical obstacles like don't run into it or it's going to be a little bit slower. But like it's not even harder. Yeah. Just it's just slow. sometimes sometimes it gets caught on a stump chair. Well, yeah, wow. that's, that's exactly the whole thing. Um, all right, so now we got to find our boy, Chanlo. Chanlo, my beloved, there you are. All right, here we go. I said I'm gonna maybe my least kid. favorite by far. Chanlo? No, no, no. Uh, this mini game. Chanlo is awesome. Oh, I was about to say. You got three in a row. Yeah, I did. I'm not what even gonna bother with that. I'm not even gonna bother with that one. Oh no, I got I got slammed. I got slammed. Okay, let's try this again. Over here. Where are you? Did you get jammed up too? What's going on? <laughs> More weight. How you doing? What is happening? I've never seen this before. <laughs> this run is like cursed. I'm convinced. That's so funny. At least you were able to get four. I don't know. What are you looking? I don't know, like... What, what do you even do? Like, reload? I guess so. Can I, like, pull and drag one? No, right? Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta reload. Which stinks, because that was, like, the best start I've ever had. I would've golded the split, probably. Yeah, even with having to do that extra quest, right? Um, yeah, did I... My Gramble's quest counted for me, right? I don't think I have to redo that one. Yeah, it's you can check. Mm. Yeah. He, I, I saw that he was in a cutscene with, uh... I set up. I'm gonna maybe Wambus, so that means that he probably wasn't available for quests anyway, so. Ooh, that's heavy, bro. Just do it again. Oh, Just do it again. <laughs> Just do it again. <laughs> you're, you're cracked, oh, you're yeah. cracked. I'm not gonna make that one. That one, that oh, one, yeah. there's no way. I've never seen anyone make that before. 
Yeah, nope. See, here, here it is. Here's where I choke. More ways. That's not. This isn't even choking. This is like, yeah, incredible. And the the annoying thing too is if you pull it and it doesn't hit, they swing like this, so it's harder to hit. <laughs> yeah, that one definitely had just like a bunch of momentum. Ugh, no. All right, we gotta wait all. <laughs> That's the bad part. Is now I gotta wait all the way until we get to here because we got the first three right in a row. If, if you, like, miss alternatingly, then it's, like, not too bad. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's, that was nice. That worked out. Okay, so now, finally, we're going to be going into the legendary bug snack fight. This first one is called Mama Melon, which is a giant watermelon bug snack. Um, there is one little trick that we can pull off here, if um, if possible, to uh, save just a little bit of time. Uh, first, we're going to catch this uh, inch inchworm. Uh, it, this one's called Inchwrap, actually. Um, we I had caught one earlier by accident when it was getting in my way. Uh, so we, we have it for the catch requirement for the run, but I need it for like a quest requirement later on. Um, I'm going to try. I'm trying to do a super bounce here. Let's see if we can get it. Just get a first try, it's not that hard. Yeah, it might be bad positioning, actually. Let's try it a little bit farther back. Try that. The joke there is, uh, they were teaching me how to do uh, door skip a little bit ago, because I, before when I did, I just kind of jammed myself at it. Mm -hmm. Like, eh, whatever, I got it sometimes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I was trying to do, I was trying to just like, launch myself, just like do a regular there launch, is. but I just kept getting super bounces. Yeah. Yeah, you got like used to doing super bounces. Yeah, you got like five in a row, which was like incredible. And I'm uh, yeah. And some of those I got there were super bounces too. I could tell by the height, but it just wasn't like hitting uh it wasn't hitting the right uh I think slope to get up there. Basically what we we're trying yeah. to do is we were trying to get up hold on, let me see here. Come on. There we go. Um there we go. Okay. Sorry, this this fight can be a little glitchy sometimes, so I'm, I focus on it a little bit more than I need to. Um, but basically, what we try to do is we try to get in the ceiling uh, early here, um, because there is a bug snack that you can catch in here early. Uh, that's gonna be late, isn't it? No, we're good. All right, that's enough bug snacks. Uh, wee melons. Um, and it's uh, one of the snack pods, basically. Um, and if you can catch it early while we're waiting for Chandler to run up anyway, it saves a little time. But if you can't, then you just catch it afterwards by reloading, and it's pretty simple. So it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it doesn't really waste too much time or anything. No, it just it just saves probably like, I don't know, five seconds or so. Now this yeah, is really glitchy. Like this is really glitchy. So you can actually skip through Chandler's text right here, but if you skip through too fast, this fight bugs out, um, so that the um, the Mama Melon won't tar go and target um, Chandler when he needs to. I've also never seen that. Um, is he dead? Okay, there we go. I was like, what's what's going on, my boy? You good? Um, yeah, he needs to run over to a pillar and get Mama Melon's attention. I grab one of her babies, and then we just throw it, throw it down, into the fight. I also think it's absolutely hilarious how he just like gets flung by this like massive like like watermelon tarantula or whatever. And he's like in the middle of it. He just like hits the wall and starts walking like midair. He's just like, yep. Okay, good enough. Yep, that's fine. Um, so yeah, that was the first of uh, the Legendary Bug Snacks fights. Here's we can just get the snack pod very easily and head back. That's so not not the end of the world. Um, nothing we need to grab here on this time through. I believe I, we might have even yeah we actually have all the bug snacks in this entire area already. We have everything we need, so we just need to run through, do some treetop parkour because it's faster. It's really funny because it's faster, so it's like it's always like worth going for mm -hmm. but if you mess it up you just like kind of like slide along the tree going down and not only do you feel bad for missing it you feel bad for just like falling down or having to like climb up like the little bridge yeah um can i talk to you can i wake you up out of this what? and can i actually talk to you no i can't okay so that's fine i need to talk to gramble for a quest but oh i can donate the snack pod too while i'm at it here we go, so that we can upgrade our inventory size. 
also pretty soon we're gonna be seeing uh, one of my one of my faves. Hello, Tiffany. Oh yeah, one of your faves. Okay. One of my faves. Yeah. Uh, bigger, please. <laughs> All right, so I we... will not spoil it though. Yeah. Woo! Okay, so got that, and then now we're gonna go. So we just cleaned up a jeez. We just cleaned up a few hey. quests, um, and now we're actually gonna head to a new area, meet a new character. Um, so we've got. So basically, like I said, um, Snacksburg is like a hub, and there's areas that branch off of that. But we've actually been to every area that branches off of Snacksburg that we know of. So now we're gonna go into these areas, and then there are gonna be areas past these areas, and they're like extreme versions of the same area. So for example, Scorch Gorge, you can tell it's kind of like a little bit deserty or like Arizona-like or something like that. Uh, but then we're gonna go into uh, past past uh, Scorch Gorge into Sizzling Sands here. Um, See, this is what Conception is the best. He just like cut that corner super well. Oh yeah, super easy, easy. <laughs> World record game right here. Um, and then uh, this is Sizzling Sands, which is kind of like the Sahara, as opposed to like just Arizona. All right, let's see if we can get this quick fire. There we go. Nice. This is like this is like some random canyon, like some, some random like I don't know, like some part in like Southern California compared to like literally like the entirety of Joshua Tree National Park. Yeah, it's like Death Valley or something probably, if I had to guess. Yeah. I don't want to stand on it. There we go. All right, so basically what we're doing here is we're doing a bunch. So it seems like kind of weird that I'm just like, oh, did you hit my trap? That's not cool. Um, huh. Um, interesting. I'm just going to throw that here for when you wake up, I think, is all I can really do with that information. There we go. Okay, so now, that, now that's broken. We're basically like uh, doing a bunch of quests um, that we would need to do for Shelda anyway. Uh, but what we can do in this area is we can do all of the quests and then turn them in all at once as opposed to like having to get them and then turn them in, get them, turn them in, get them, turn them in. Um, it's Especially because we have the inventory space now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we expanded our inventory space, so now we have 12 slots as opposed to just... Uh, we started with six, then we went to eight. Yeah, the 10 really makes a difference. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, like, the thresholds for all the different, like, side quests. Uh, like the side quest lines, mm -hmm. but this definitely like probably meets some, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, the max is eight, 18? 18, I believe, is the max. Um, hopefully, yeah, that's what I was hoping would happen. There we go. Um, so we needed to catch that. We're gonna throw this here because there's gonna be a that that thing is gonna come around at some at some point eventually. Um, while we're doing that, we can do a couple extra catches. Well, in the meantime, ooh, they're fighting each other in the distance, which is actually good news for me. Uh, I'm gonna go try and grab one of those real quick. Can't claw. Also, them. that's just the regular cockroach. Yeah, that's the regular cockroach, not the Baja. We've seen. We've seen. Actually, have we seen the chocolate cockroach? There is no choco cockroach. I wish. Wait, there isn't? No. I thought there was a Choco Taco one. No, just regular oh. and Baja. I thought, oh. No, I'm I actually know. really sad about that. I know, it's disappointing. Maybe they're planning, like I said, they're planning on doing some content. So maybe, you know, we're gonna see some new snacks and all that too, so we'll see what happens. That'd be so cool if they had a, okay. I, I was actually convinced that they had a, a Choco Taco roach. Yeah, I wish they did. No, but most of the time, if there are variants, there's only one variant of things. There's not two. Um, most of the time. Don't do that. Why did you fall out of the sky again? You I thought flying. there was like two mostly. Yeah, there's just two. So like there's Takroach, Baja Takroach, Bunger, Barbecue Bunger. Like they don't really go beyond two. Isn't there like three snack pods? Uh, there's five snack pods. That's the exception for sure. Okay. Uh -oh. I could not remember all the snack pods. Interesting. Just flew straight up in the air. I'm supposed to just uh, just going for it, I guess. That guy definitely had a plan, and you weren't in it. Yeah. Nope. Can I even reach you from this far? Like, all right. Everything is just wanting to give me give me trouble today. Okay. We're gonna throw this here. Also, we've definitely gotten some new. Uh, We've gotten some new sauces since the last time we've like mentioned sauces. Yeah, we got some hot sauce. We got some ranch. We've got some uh, some cheese sauce, right? Yeah, cheese sauce. With this was new to this area. Uh, ooh, come over here. 
Oh, and then there was, uh... No, that was chocolate, never mind. <laughs> yeah. We got chocolate. Um, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. What else do I need up here? Eggler still. There you are. I love the eggs. Ooh, okay. They just look so silly. Just broke. I guess an egg can break my trap. Who knew? I didn't even know that. Uh, okay, get back out here. Come on. There we go. All right. <laughs> um, what else do I still need? I already have cheap hoof. Cheap hoof is one of the only bug snacks that is in multiple areas for some reason. Um, I think we're good, actually. I think we can head down. I can't think of anything else that I need at the moment. Um, okay, so now we got to lead this black rasby through a maze here. Um, it's actually what, less hard to do in 100% um, than it is to do in no major skips because uh, we need to catch, well, w except when that happens, but uh, because we need to catch one of these anyway. Uh, normally we don't need to catch them, so it's a waste of time to catch them. Um, and then I'm gonna just throw that over here so you can get out of my way. Uh, these Encheritas, uh, they love to get up in our business, basically. That looks like Taco Bell and I really want Taco Bell right now. Yeah, uh, there was mention that this, this game might make some people hungry, which is definitely true. I definitely get hungry playing this game often. I don't usually get hungry while playing this game, or while watching this game, or playing it, but... Some Taco Bell I'm, sounds about right. Yeah, some some Taco Bell would be schmack right now. At, what time is it? 7.45 p.m. Never too late for fourth meal. 10.45 10 p.m., you know. Come on, thank you. All right. I would call this fourth meal, except I've had... Oh, I did have canes earlier, huh? Yeah, oh, I don't sure. again. Sure you did. Oh, sure no. You had, I don't know. I guess you did. I, I had two meals today. All right, so now we can turn in these quests for Shelda, by the way. We did the, every, every one of her quests. Um, we just can now just mass turn them in. That's why I love Shelda. Now it's important. We still need to catch the Black Raspy, um, but we cannot catch it before that quest is over or we'll have to redo it. Um, so that is, that's an important distinction to make. Um, I forgot to split there, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I think we got everything in the area. I can't think of anything we missed, so hopefully we got everything. So then it's uh, floofty time? Floof, floofty time, yeah. We take a hidden area that helps us on over to Boiling Bay, basically. Heck yeah, yeah. floofty time. I love them. Yeah, we got them all. I was doubting myself because that, that that whole segment went pretty well besides like the little hiccup with the maze. Um, but yeah, I was like doubting myself. I was like, wow, that went unrealistically well. Yeah. So earlier we were just in this massive like absolute desert. Uh, now we're inside of a volcano. So yeah, this is kind of you know a, a bigger version of other places. Yep. Exactly. Um, so that's one of my favorite uh, trick catches to do in the game. Uh, the flaming cheap hoof is one of the hardest uh, snacks to actually catch uh, because it you need to um, you know make it not on fire before you can, but it literally lives in a lake of fire, so it's like hard to position. Um, but we just launch um, launch this uh, palatos basically at it and then uh, catch it in midair, which is really 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 cool in my opinion. All right, and then so now we got those as well. I'll throw this here in hopes that we catch this part fast. Oh man! Oh, so 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 close. Come on back. Nope. He's gonna hit it. That's why I was afraid of. Then it's gonna jump. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Well, we'll get this stuff out of the way then while that's happening. Okay, we'll keep the lesser we can throw out. What can we throw out? Uh, black raspberry we can throw out. Come here. Come here. Uh, get over here. I'm not sure that guy's gonna come over here. Come on. I think he's too aggressive to catch right now anyway. Oh yeah, well, thank you. 
Um, yeah, that, that wouldn't help. Yeah. Um, so let's do this. Let's throw a trap here. Hey, come here. Look. Come on. Thank you. All right. We need to catch one of these anyway. Uh, that's fine. Uh, what can we toss? We can toss the score. Uh, we can toss Sodi D for sure. Okay, so now with all that out of the way, we can try and catch one of these things again. Of course it hop. Oh, what? That was weird. Oh, nice. I don't trust this guy. No, nor should you. Just catching all this stuff while we have the time. Waiting for this thing to jump back and forth, basically. Well, then you have a quick moment for me to touch in with the donation? Yeah, go for it. Why not? All right. Got a $3 donation from George saying, He protect, he attack, but more importantly, he bug snack. That's I'll right. see myself out. That was silly. Maybe even awfully silly. Ah, oh, I see. I see what's happening. Ah, here. I see what's I see going it. on. Yeah. Good luck, gamers. Thank you. You should definitely plug that eyes emoji. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should, huh? Um, yeah. So I, where, what one? I need to figure out what I can toss here first. Uh, score pepper. I can toss. Um, I recently have started uh, running one of my own shows on the Games Done Quick channel, uh, which is called Awfully Silly. Um, it's basically a show that features awful and silly speedruns of games that you know, you know, kind of curse speedruns or you know, things that you can, if you if you've watched GDQs in the past, um, the awfuls or awful or silly blocks basically. So uh, if you're if you're interested in that, uh, come on by the show. It's uh, every other Monday. Um, on, uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then, um, if you're interested in running it as well, if you have a game that, um, you know, that you think might be a good fit, um, go visit my, um, Twitter, uh, where I have a, uh, a sheet that you can, uh, use to sign up if you're interested. Hold on, I, remember, I don't remember your Twitter, otherwise, otherwise I would say it. It's like just Conception of Star, right? Yep, yep, it's all the same everywhere, so that's good. It's, that's Synergy, basically. Twitter.com slash Conception SR. Go right. there. Hit follow. Uh, where is... Maybe it's mid. Where, where are... Where's my Sherby at? We need to get this clue anyway, so we're going to grab this. Um, so we have Flutie. There's my Sherby. Can I get it from that rock? You, you going to run there? You're going you're gonna to dig. That's fine. Um, so we need to get the Sherby. Obviously, cannot capture it while it is burrowed. So we have to wait for it to f go on rocks and then chase it away, basically. That's the fastest way to do it, at least. Like it is now. Wah! I'm gonna get you. Get back here. There we go. What the heck is a Sherby, by the way? It's Oh, a, Sherbert. Yeah, it's Sherbert, yep. And then... There's Never also Sco there's also Scoopy, um, which like scoops them. of ice cream. Yep, scoops of ice cream. Th those are like the okay. two inverses of each other, basically. I like saw it and I'm like, this does not look like ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then like the, the little like profile picture came up, and I was like, yeah, never mind, I get it. All right, beach clue, Sherry. Yep, last do. Yep, I think we got everything in there, so that's good. That. But despite that, like, Red Banopera thing going poorly, we saved some time ultimately on that by uh, capturing other things while we were waiting for it, which I don't usually have the luxury of doing because I'm usually panicking about things falling apart there. Um, RNG can be a, a real chore at that section. So uh, that sec it ultimately didn't go that bad. So, all things considered. Um, as you can see, our inventory is chock full of stuff, by the way. Uh, but we are going to turn in a bunch of that and like uh, do a bunch of interviews and side quests and stuff here. So that'll be good. Especially now that we got Floofty back here. How you doing? We're going to talk to them. Oh, get the, get their interview out of the way. Uh, Floofty, by the way, is like an experimentalist. If you're like, an intro Oops, I hit the wrong one. Um, and they're interested in like conducting ins experiments with bug snacks and figuring out like what they're all about. Uh, for example, we meet them early on in the game. We feed them a strabby and turn their leg into a strabby, basically. 
Yeah. And then what Ooh, they wait. do off screen is actually chop off their own leg uh, to see if it's uh, if it's a bug snack or not. Uh, since my um, um, so kind of wild. Pardon me, and I am indeed. Also, this is the oh. aforementioned non-binary dude. Yeah. Woo. Um, floofies. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot more talking to people. Yep, interviews. Uh, yep, bunch and of finishing quests. Yep, all Ooh. all of the above. When... Um, I want you to know right now, uh, how many lines is this? <laughs> in, the, in the checklist uh, that Conception uses, there's just like half a page worth of just talk to this person, do the interview, talk to this person, talk to this person, <laughs> yeah, get this, talk to this person, talk to this person, do this interview. Yeah, basically every time we return to Snacksburg after like a major event like Shelda returning, we just have a, a lot of exposition and turning in of stuff to do. Um, so like, for example, we get Shelda's interview out of the way, we get another clue here. Um, we're also doing a quest for Floofty at the same time, where we have to ask, like, a bunch of people on the island if they're, they'd be willing to, like, do their experiment. Um, so, no, we got, we got, we got options. Uh, we're gonna turn in some stuff here. Also, I love when you uh, plant the bug snacks. It's just yeah. their eyes. The yep. They just pop up googly eye. Yep. Those make him. All right. So this is going to be Shelda's quest line, basically, which is like we have to turn in like bug snacks into her box. Um, Shelda's kind of like a faux prophet of sorts. That's how a I real prophet. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, true. Well, she ends up being a real prophet, but not really up Where to her. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, yeah, that 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 becomes like her deal. And um, what she does, she kind of cons us into uh, putting in bo bug snacks in the box for the cause as like a donation. Uh, but it doesn't exactly work that way. Um, as you'll see, when we we're gonna go to sleep and wake up, um, we put a green crapple into the box. Um, and uh, we're gonna come over here and talk to Shelda. Mysteriously, as you'll notice in a second when she turns around, hmm, her arm is a green crackle. Interesting how that works out, huh? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, interesting. I guess it's, you know, just for the cause, right? I have a question, by the way. Yeah. Can, can you directly feed her? Uh, no, no. No, you can change. Like, you can go in here and, like, just snack experiment with her. Uh, but you, oh, can't, yeah. you can't feed her directly. Uh, let's see. Talk to her again. Let's see. Talk. I was to like, it'd be really funny if you can just like feed her directly and then like also do that. Yeah. No, not quite. I mean, it's for the cause. It's not feeding her. Yeah. For the cause. For the cause, of course. For astrology. Just Gemini things. Just Gemini things. Yeah, Gemini. Gemini is probably pretty accurate for Shelda, honestly. I don't know much about astrology, but that feels right. Oh, right now. While you oh, Honestly, if yeah. if you told me that Shelda was a Gemini, I would not like even be remotely surprised. Oh. That was actually really fast crap. Yeah, so basically we're doing a bunch of side quests as we mentioned. Oh, oh, oh. By the way, I'm just turning in a lot of this stuff at all at once. Um, we're gonna go sleep until 5 a.m. And it, we're also it also helps us clear out our inventory, which is nice. Because we had, we were all full of stuff, but, but we were full of stuff that we really needed. Uh, weirdly. Uh, like for turning in all these quests. And it's not even like we just need some bug snacks. We need like specific bug snacks. Um, so that's good. Uh, Befka. Uh, Triffany, I think is still asleep. Yep. He's a late sleeper. We've all been there. Yeah. Okay, great. So we're going to uh, we're, we're warped back to Boiling Bay where we just were uh, just to do a couple of quick quests here. Uh, you'll notice, by the way, I'll do this a lot. I'm going to run into fire on purpose uh, because it makes you run faster. Fun fact. When's any percent no running into fire? Uh, feed her this palatos. You know, no, it could We'll finish her uh, finish her quests here. Um, and we have a quest for Befica where we need to get three grumpy snack pods, which are actually in um, Simmering Springs, which is next door here. So we're gonna do that real quick. 
Um, we're just gonna grab the three quickest ones. Yeah, um, so snack pods, we mentioned it earlier. So every area has a distinct snack pod, which is kind of like, you know, like a bag of chips or candy or something. It, it's different every re uh, in every uh, area. And there are also five in each area, um, but they don't really like respawn quickly. Um, so once you catch them, they're, like they're gone for a while. Um, and you have to wait for them to like respawn. And we need three of this specific kind, which are like gummy bears. Uh, but we're gonna grab the three quickest ones. That actually sounds so good. Gummy bears? I can go for some gummy bears right now. Oh yeah. Gummy bears are great. This game's making me so hungry, this has like never happened before. Oh yeah. If you like sushi, you're gonna be pumped at the next part. Just for everyone for the record. Hey, who are you? Ninja. I love sushi, I know it's coming up. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oops. I mashed too fast. Okay, so that's now, finally the end of that segment. Yeah, that's a long, long segment. That was what, like seven minutes or something of just talking yeah, to people just, and just doing just matching quests. and finishing quests and stuff like that but now we're on to legendary bug snack fight number two uh which is the one that usually gives me the most trouble right um so we'll see how it goes i hate watching this just because of how much stuff that can go wrong yeah um basically we have to wait for wiggle to run over here anyway and there is a few nighttime specific bug snacks that spawn so i'm gonna start launch uh trying to get those done as soon as possible There we go. Uh, there we go. Perfect. We don't need that anymore anyway. So good. That was that was actually pretty efficient. Those two snacks is what we try to grab really quickly. Um, I did get so in practicing for this excellent marathon, I did get a, a new PB slash world record yesterday. Um, in which my Mega Maki fight was like incredible, like by far the best I've ever had. So let's see, <laughs> let's see if we can get similar luck. I don't know though. We're going to just like get an even better one. Yeah. First of all, it's we, not that hard. We uh, we get to see some more Wiggle music, which most of the songs that she sings in this game are like actual jams, uh, which is funny because she's still pursuing that next hit, but she's very talented. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. When are they gonna release all the Wiggle songs sheet music? I, I would learn the heck out of that. Absolutely, with some banjo. Heck yeah. She's got that Crescent Moon banjo, which is pretty styling. Yeah, that's so styling. Honestly, if there was a Crescent Moon, moon banjo near me, I would buy it. If I had the money, especially. I don't, I don't even like banjo, I'd, I'd buy it. Yeah. Okay, so she all this singing is to summon the Mega Maki, which is a giant sushi serpent. Um, the first phase is really simple. Basically, we have to attack it in three phases um, using this trip wire, and uh, each phase we can pick up like a piece of the Mega Maki. Content warning: absolutely delicious. Yeah. Oh, you're on fire. Okay, so I like to take a photo of that one's head specifically because it will tell you the path it plans on taking. This is going to destroy it. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about that. Scanning stuff shows you the path. Uh, it's not too useful if you already know like all the paths in the game, but like casually can help you out a lot. Yeah, so if you're, yeah, if you're ever stuck casually, that, that is a, a good rule of thumb. Um, see, can we get on the tree here? No, it's not gonna let us. Yeah, see, this is what this is what can happen. So basically, what, what makes phases two and three of Mega Maki especially really annoying is that it, he, uh, the Mega Maki can destroy pillars that you can use to defeat it. Um, so that's what makes it particularly hard to figure out where to you know throw some pillars. It ends up destroying all of the useful ones. Um, if you're not like really, really fast. And I just so happy, can, can this even reach? No, I can't, jeez, I cannot find a good, I cannot find a good match here. Um, let me try this, I guess. Yeah, this, it doesn't destroy me. 
Oh, that actually reaches? Yeah, but it might not I, be I'm so used to stuff- Oh yeah, that's not. I was so used to like stuff and not reaching, I'm like, this feels weird. Yeah, like these ones are the, usually the go-to ones up here, but the main pillar I use for that is destroyed, so I'm a little stuck on what to do here. I cannot find a good pattern. Maybe here, if I can get it high enough, but I'm gonna have to wait for him to come back anyway. If you wait over time, also, by the way, it will just, it'll start to respawn the pillars because it realizes like, hey, maybe you can't do it because you don't have enough pillars <laughs> that, that function correctly. Um, I hope that works. That looks like it's gonna land, but I just have to wait that for it to like all the way work. around. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was already Watch done. Watch it destroy that pillar. For reference, I was already done with the Mega Maki fight by now in my PB. I actually was done like 40 seconds ago. That's how well it went. Oh yeah, that's how linear time works for sure. Yeah. I, I looked at that and I'm like, that's not 40 seconds. That's negative. That's 40 seconds, never mind. Yeah. Oh boy. Alright, so let's see here. Can we get... This This should work, as long as he doesn't destroy the pillars. I'm definitely confident in this. I'm a believer. I tend to run away as well. Um... When it's about to get close, okay. See, it was gonna. It destroyed that pillar, um, but luckily it ran into it before it was destroyed. So that worked out. I actually almost cried. Okay, so now it's over. Uh, ooh, we got. We had an extra bug snack. Nice. Not used to that. I'm used to running out. Okay. So now we got all these pieces of sushi. By the way. Yeah, so there's going to be a very specific slide quest we do with this, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're going to be here for a little bit, but that's going to be very cool. Yeah. So uh, we're going to talk to our friend Floofty. Excuse me. Um, Floofty, we're, we, fini we finished one of Floofty's quests, which is to see if anybody will be willing to participate in their experiment. Um, they're not, you know, surprisingly, shockingly, I know. They're not willing to participate in Floofty's experiments. So Floofty is like, okay, I will do it myself, you know, Thanos style. Um, so the first step is we have to fully transform Floofty. Now this is one of the key spots that you can save a lot of time in PC over console uh, because PC has a, an exclusive glitch that allows you to um, be able to uh, mash really, really quickly when you're feeding some uh, somebody a snack and you can fully transform them with one snack. P console does not have the ability to do that, so I have to like feed Floofy like 14 snacks. Um, so, which is what we're gonna do here in a second. Um, so we're gonna fully transform Floofy using all these sushi bits. You think it would take longer, but like just because the timing is good, uh, it doesn't take as long as it could. Yeah. Exactly. Yum, yum, yum. And typically, so typically, what can uh, what you can do here is you can actually just uh, mash, um, and it will automatically push the uh, bug snack to a, a limb that has not been affected yet. However, I tried doing that once and it didn't do that. So now I'm just paranoid every time, and I will just hand select each point on Flutie's body to make sure that it goes the way it's supposed to. There you go. That's really funny, actually. Yeah. There you go. Actually, so I didn't do it there, but it did push, so that worked out. I but once that I don't, I need. So yeah, uh, now they're gonna cut themselves in half. Yep. Because PG Flo game, by the way. Yeah. You put a well, lucky. Oh, we didn't mention the Snorpy here is Flufty's brother as well as Chanlo's partner. So that's that's why Snorpy specifically stops Flufty there. I cannot end. Okay, then we're gonna go talk to Cromdo here. And then we're gonna be going right into Legendary Bug Snack fight number three. So we just did two, now we're gonna do three. Actually, some, something a little bit important to mention, at least casually. Um, if you complete a character's entire side quest, if they get transformed in, uh, if they get, uh, like, if they eat Bug Snacks at the end of the game, they actually just, like, can't die. Um, I know that makes, like, no sense right now, but, like, it, it, as soon as you get there, it will kind of make sense, uh, because, uh, there's a sec- there's the section at the end of the game called the Gauntlet, where if, uh, if 
some of the characters eat too many buck snacks, they will die. Um, but if the game is like, yeah, you, you like finish their side quest, you care enough about them, uh, they just won't let them die, which is very nice. Um, and in 100%, you cannot kill anyone since you have to do all the side quests and stuff. Yep. So yeah, it's not possible to uh, to get a good or a bad ending. We will we'll see that a little bit more in play uh, once we get closer to the end too. That'll make a little bit more sense. Go ahead. Hey, do your down. thing. An old timey casket. Um, but yeah, like if, if you didn't finish, uh, like if that wasn't like the end of Fluffy's like quest line, it would suck trying to save her. <laughs> yeah, it would. Or them. My bad. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we catch a few bug snacks here. One, the black Looks lava like only comes out at night, so we want to do it there anyway. Down. But two, since we when we roll through here, when we're doing Shelda right stuff, we have to break two of the both picantuses in the area to accomplish our quest. So I can't catch a full prank picantus, uh, but I do it now um, since we have to come back to this area anyway. Whoa, that is um, and then over. there's a just a snack pot on the reverse like side of one of those pillars open. that we grab real quick, and then an we're going to uh, we're going to be doing a legendary bug snack fight here in a second, which is going to be Moths the Supreme, a giant flying pizza moth. This soundtrack is a banger. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're going to throw this pizza roll on top. Oh wait, wait, no. Oops. I meant to catch that Bombino. It doesn't matter, I'll get one later on. Come on down here, you muddy angel! If it stays there, it's actually faster. Uh, it doesn't, of course it doesn't. Why would it? <laughs> of course it doesn't. Love bug snacks. Yep. Um, do I have any extinguished at the moment? No. I need to wait for these to not be on fire. Um, and then basically we launch them at um, the Masa Supreme. Masa Supreme falls, then we use the pizza cutter things right below it to uh, chop it up. Violent, honestly. And none of them are going into these whirlwinds, so I can't use any of these yet. Come on. This is these are these RNG cycles. See, there we go. When they're when they're whirlwinded like that, then I can pick them up because they're not burning hot anymore. Please, target, thank you. How'd that guy get all the way up, like, up the stairs? No idea. Need to grab one of these, at least. Preferably a couple. Just to have a few extra for donation purposes. And then, there you go. We also need one to complete the catch requirement, obviously, for 100%. I'm gonna wait until you fly, I'm not gonna chance that, yeah. Would it if, like, flown fast enough if you did that? If you do it when it's mid-fly, it won't, uh, it won't count, it won't, it won't collapse, basically. Oh, okay. So you have to wait until it's, like, come to a full and complete stop. Love Disneyland. Yep. Ooh, that was, that was good. So it was a really slow start, but a really fast finish, except, never mind, because there's no, there's no chopper here. Never mind. <laughs> So that would have been a really fast hit. So basically for the last phase, you can't launch it because it, it always has this giant uh, cyclone above it. Um, but I happened to pick the one I just did, I forgot. Um, so I couldn't chop it. But now now we got it, uh, and I'm on fire. You're on fire, yeah. Uh-oh. It doesn't matter, I just it just wastes time. There we go. Actually, we have to wait also, for them to run up anyway, so it probably didn't waste any time. I hate that moth, the moth the supreme just like looks like a little worm yeah but it's just like one unit yeah it just kind of so silly shrinks up a little yeah okay so that's three of the four legendary bug snacks done by the way i'm pretty good uh, so, so yeah we don't have very much very much left do we no not not terribly not terribly a lot um forgot to grab this actually Please? 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 There you go. That's okay. Uh, it's honestly okay because I have to wait for this crystal sweetie fly to go land anyway. So uh, it didn't that didn't cost me any time, even though it seemed like it did. Alright, cool. 
All right, and we're gonna go donate all of our bug snacks as well on our way back. I right, just saw the link in chat, so yeah. Again, reminder, if you donate right now, actually this entire run for like the next like half hour that this is going on, um, Conception, if you mentioned in the comment, Conception will do a bunger impression. Yes, you and know, that little that little burger dude. Yeah, which is my favorite bug snack, by the way. If you have some favorite bug snacks too, feel free to shout those out. I'm trying to think of my favorite one. I just love so many of them. Yeah, they're all really, really good. You can't go too wrong, honestly. Um, okay, so now we're going to the last area that we haven't seen yet, um, besides like some in-game stuff, uh, which is called. I know Fossidique. it's open. I know it's open, but you should do you should do early peek anyways. <laughs> I should have. I I, uh, I was already too late. I was too far into the game, but I should have. <laughs> I was already halfway through the arch. All right, so we're gonna grab a new sauce, peanut butter. Peanut butter? Wait, is peanut butter a sauce? In this game, it is. No, but like in general. Uh, good question. I'm I, I'm ready to start some discourse right now. That's a great question. I don't honestly know, um, but maybe. At the same time, is ranch a sauce or a dressing? It is. I, yeah. Is it called ranch dressing in this? It might even be called ranch dressing in this game, even though it's listed as like a sauce in the game. That's the most mixed signals I've ever seen. So I'm going to get the Scooby Banoopy in here. Oh, I talked to Agabelle. Just because it's a spread doesn't mean it can't also be a sauce. Like, cane sauce is also a spread. That's true, I suppose. So it might have seemed counterintuitive to lead the Scooby Banoopy all the way up here and then just like let it walk back, but it really wasn't because it's very slow. Um, so if I had waited, um, if I had waited in, until after I talked to Agabelle to accomplish this, um, it would have really been a hassle uh, because I'd have to I'd have to go so much farther away to to get it back. Um, would have been really annoying to deal with. Uh, but now we got the Scooby Banoopy. We're gonna have to attack it again later on um, to get its individual pieces. But uh, we got the. Oh, yeah, full I think thing this now. is like the second to last area that we like go to. Yeah, it's the last major area. Um, there are some other like smaller areas that we'll see. Um, we can get into that as we get closer to the uh, the end game. But this is like the last major area that we'll we'll deal with. Yeah. It's just this giant mountain. Yeah. Frosted Peak. Um, okay. This is a really clever way of dealing with this as well, which I love. Throw the fire into the ice, take them both out at once. Yeah, I love that. That's so cool. Yeah, that's a really cool strat. I like that one a lot. Um, then we're going to go all the way up to the peak of the mountain here, uh, where there is a bed, and we're going to sleep until noon because it's going to spawn another bug snack that we need to catch. And then we're going to just jump all the way down. Um, oh, yeah, but we meet Egabel here. Yeah, that's, that's kind of big. Yep. Uh, Egabel um, is Lizbert's partner. Um, so she... They are gay. Yep. Uh, please? Actually, please? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, I caught it that way. So, whatever. Aren't you uh, supposed to use, like, the net for that? Yeah, you can just use the net. It's not usually a problem. That was very strange. Um, yeah, so Lizbert, I mean, Egabel is obviously more invested than most in trying to find out what happened to Lizbert. Thanks for the um, so, so that's we're working with we're working with her to do that. Uh huh. And basically, so this is the the door to like the the secret. We all the, all of the um all the secrets and clues that we collect lead us to this door basically. Um, and you know this is where the secret is. Actually, we'll we'll back up here. I'll wait and I'll wait and split here. There we go. Um, so basically, we need to get through the store to figure out what happened to Lizbert, what's going on. But uh, it's not going too well. There's still some extra steps. We try to open the door. We need we need three people to do it. So we're going to have to go recruit our boy Philbo to help out. Um, and then it's still not going to go. It's still not going to go perfectly well. That's also another one of my favorite strats right there. Oops, that didn't go the way I wanted to. I mean, definitely for something like this, Phobo isn't like 
the sharpest knife in the drawer, but you know, Ooh. he he's definitely helpful. Oh my! Did it fall? Yeah. Well, that I, I that cycle is really tight, so I I wasn't fully expecting on making it anyway. Uh, but I was like, oh, maybe I will, and then like it just took off the last possible second. Of course. It yeah, took. I was like. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, that's not going to work. Oh, that worked. And that's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. So unfortunate. There we go. Well, we got it that time. We have a moment for a donation. Uh, one second. So one thing I'm going to do no uh, here is I'm actually just going to run to the back of the woods where there's another reel. And there's a little trick that we can do here. So we're going to grab the reel, which we need, and we're going to run straight off the edge here. And that spawns us right next to the door. It saved us a good amount of time. Uh, but now you can go. All right, well, we got a $20 donation from Tabrango saying, I saw a little bit of bug snacks when it launched, nice but I love bunger sound. Ooh, finally. Finally, Heck people yeah. have spoken. Oh, there you are. The people have spoken. Here it comes. <clears throat> Ready? Bunger? Bunger, 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 bunger. That's really good. Claps, claps, thank you. That's, that's pretty on point. That's Standing really ovation. Point. I, so I do have to imagine you were standing. This. Feel free to I, keep I didn't donating. stand, but I wanted to. <laughs> we are uh, very close to the uh, the first milestone of 500. We are at 479.07 from 500, oh, just yeah. barely over $21, yeah. uh, a little under $21 away. So we can oh, make it if you want to hear some so more bungers. See you. Which who doesn't? You've been up here all, this time. You're so all I'm saying yeah. is. A bunger donation train. That's right. You yes. make us do, both do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ness will do it too. Yeah, you I think really mine isn't. You mine isn't that good. <laughs> nah, I think it's great. I think it's awesome. I think it's better than mine. But you'll never know if you don't donate. I thought you would have asked Chandlo. You'll never be able to judge your, for yourself. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. Something, uh, something, FOMO? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. um, okay, so what we got we got a little bit of exposition here. Like I said, there's these three pads that we need to do to unlock the door. Um, all these totems needed to go down as well. So we think we have the seeker. We got it. We're going to get in the door right now. Um, but it's not going to go according to plan. Spoiler alert in the next 20 seconds. Um... So Agabelle's going to need some more time Ready? to figure out what's going on with this One, door while we can clean up the rest two, of what we need to do for 100%, three. basically. Um, finish up with some side quests, and uh, we still have one more legendary bug snack fight to do and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't even remember, like, what's needed to get through that door. I just remember, like, you just need a launch pad and a that <laughs> suction tripwire trap. Just go boop, 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 boop. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, basically. So for um for any percent, we basically skip into every area we can early, um so we can get all the way to that door here in like five minutes uh, by skipping a lot of like uh, really big sections. Um, so that that's uh that's what Ness is referring to there. Um, we can actually just like straight up clip through that door. Yeah, and in this game, uh. You actually, like, if you skip into areas early, it just assumes that you just did everything in all the other areas. So it just gives you all the tool, all the tools and stuff, just by default. All right, let's see if I can capture some of these snacks early. Got something. Really would have liked to get the Banopper early. That's the hardest. Well, um, the Scoopy is pretty hard too, actually. Ooh, but we got... Ooh, that was pretty good. Alright, so we just need to get the Scoopy now. So yeah, uh, Scoopy Banoopy breaks apart into three snacks, basically. Oh, and we got the, uh, the Scoopy to stay in here, which is really good. I just have to get it to run into my flaming body. There, there we go. Alright, there we go. Took a second, but we got there. Um, and then there's only one last bug that we need to get in this area for cleanup, which is the insta uh, sh insta bug, yeah, which only comes out if the, ca if the camera's aimed, which is I th I think that's fantastic. It's really funny. All right, great. That that's all that cleanup done. That was actually pretty good. Not too bad at all. Also, I just realized that the. The Scoopy has uh, a waffle cone 
another one, the sherbet one, has a cake cone. Yeah, yeah. The variation, the the thoughts behind it. One of my favorites. I, I I didn't point this out at the time because I was too I was too wrapped up in stuff. One of my favorites. So we caught a weenie worm at the very beginning of the thing, which is just like a plain hot dog, right? Um, and then there's a variation of the weenie worm. Uh, nope, not noon. We should have slept till midnight. Whoops. Um, there's a variation of the weenie worm in the deserty area that's called the shy weenie worm and it's like um it's got like a seeded bun and like a bunch of toppings and so not only is that like a variation a different style of hot dog but it's called the shy weenie worm not only because it's hidden but because it's based off a chicago hot dog so it's like a chai weenie worm i think that's just like yeah that's, that's just so like cool big brain that's just big brain this game is so well designed yep uh, let's see, Grandma Wiggle, talk to Befica. Hello, darling. Where is Befica? There you are. What? The more it I have, I need. Hello, Befica, my beloved. Um, okay, so we need to turn her arms into uh, green bug snacks because what she's about to do is impersonate um, Chanlo, but and talk to Snorpy just to figure out like what Chanlo's like secrets are basically um you know solid channel impression right here soda soda arms and a hat that's so funny um while we're at it we're gonna do a snorpy quest here it says to feed uh snorpy a scooby banoopy but you can just feed it one piece of a scooby banoopy and it still counts which is useful for us i'm afraid however i've set up i'm so it can um this is one of like my favorite side quests to do we have to like um light these five torches but if we do it right, we can like light three of them without really trying, um, which I think is pretty cool. Except I missed one, didn't I? Yeah, I missed that one. There we go. Also, the, this is being talked about in chat just a, just a little bit. I do want to mention, I, was, I don't want to take the most job, I'm so sorry. But $20 till the first donation goal. That is sick. That is so sick. Yeah. You guys should donate $20 right now. A $20 donation train. One donation. Yeah. Already there. Alternatively, $1 donation train. Yeah, 20 of them. <laughs> 20 21 dollar donos. Um yeah, thank yeah, thanks to everyone who's getting those donations. I really appreciate it. It's such a good cause. Greetings. Um while we're doing this while we were doing this challenge, I turn in a few bug snacks that we need to do to complete some quests just because it's like convenient to do so here. Did I miss one? When did I miss? Oh, yeah, I forgot to do this one. Whoops. Oh, that's not going to work. And I'm on fire. Uh congratulations on being on fire. Just waiting. There we go. You're on fire because this run is hot. Ayo. Can I still reach it from here? No way, Probably. right? No way, right? You gotta. No, it's not gonna work. It's on the opposite side of where it needs to be. I honestly thought it would work. Thought it might, but no. Can't be that lucky. There It'd be go. so funny if it did. Alright, we'll yes. let the fires, let which took usually way longer than it normally does, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, it's called Get Lit. Uh -huh. Yeah. I've actually never seen a mission name for that before. Oh yeah, Get Lit. Get Lit indeed. Hey, how's it going? I Oops. I All right, so now we're on to our fourth and final legendary bug snack fight, which is Daddy Cake Legs. We're grandma. Uh, nope. Oh, you joking? <laughs> I forgot to talk to Snorpy again. Uh, bummer. I have to go all the way back and then talk to Snarpy and do that again. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Did it autosave, like, basically when you went through that? Because I assume it did, but, like, if it didn't, that'd be... Yeah, that'd so be we, we actually abandoned a quest in the middle of it with Triffany, so we're after, we're going to have to talk to her again, too, but that's fine. That, she'll warp us back to peak, so we won't have to walk back and then all the way back to peak, so it'll, you know, minimizes the damage, I guess. Uh, where are you at, Snorpy? You back here? You, you're asleep, aren't you? Yeah. Snorpy is the fastest waker, I think. Oh, I'm yeah, I was about to say, isn't he like the best like waker upper? Yeah, I think so. Which I mean makes a lot of sense if you like read the dialogue, which I mean we're not doing. And Triffany is particularly slow. Look at that. Here oh, we go. Now we can try. At least he's again. not like Philbo. Yeah, Phil, actually, Philbo is probably still the slowest. 
So yeah, this is what we want to see, which is that they both pop up here. Though you may need help that, that's what it's supposed to be. Because the daddy cake leg is actually Snorpies, but we're also finishing a Trifony quest while we're here. Um, because we have to go all the way to the top of the mountain for her quest anyway. Um, okay, so with the daddy cake leg fight, it's a giant cake for the record. Um, and if I do it right, I can actually cheese uh, quite a bit of the fight. It's a really interesting fight. I think I got one side, but not both, yeah. So if you're really quick with that, you can actually... So basically what you have to do is you have to exterminate its two sides. Uh, not ex uh, You have to... Jeez, what am I trying to say? Uh, you have to um, light each candle, basically, on its side. Um, so I was able to light one by lighting it on fire, like with my body, <laughs> basically. Um, actually, I think I need to talk to Snorpy for this to happen. I think I soft locked once by doing that. Um... If you want run around fast enough, you can hit both wicks while your body is still on fire, um, which is the trick. Um, easier said than done, uh, because the window for being on fire is kind of tight. Um, but I, getting one is still pretty good. Yeah, there's multiple of these guys. And that time I waited too long to... So long... Oh, my gosh. I waited so long that I didn't even light my... I didn't even get lit on fire. Um, so I didn't even get a chance to try the cheese. Why does that keep doing that? Why do you keep going on the side? That's not me. I, I put it on top and then it just like cuts through the side. There we go. That's too high. I think. Hey, got one. See, look at that. That's not me. I'm not. Look at that. It's freaking out right now. Could be you. Could could just be swag. Oh no, that was not the direction I thought I was gonna go. Oh no. Oh, good. That still counted. I've never seen this guy be nice before. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's not nice. Um. The third one is especially the one you would like to cheese because it's the it can be the longest because the cycles are biggest, but it all it does only have one um, candle in the third phase because it shrinks size. Um, so that's going to be the one I hope uh, the most that I'm able to uh, cheese a little bit. But before we go over to phase three of the fight, uh, basically also, by the way, what is meant to like you might be wondering, like, how do I even know where I'm supposed to go there? Like if I'm playing casually, what you do there is the little pieces of cake that spawn after daddy cake legs. You actually just follow them to the spots and they, they lead you directly to where daddy cake legs is going to be next. So you don't have to, like, just roam around the whole area and figure it out yourself. Alternatively, you can roam around the whole area because this game looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no judgments for sure. But if you're if you're frustrated and you just can't figure it out or whatever, then that's that's the trick. All right, so we finished that quest. We can jump all the way down here. That looks painful. Get some daddy cake legs, uh, some mini cake legs, real quick. Under what? Okay, under what? Like cake and peanut butter would taste like. I saw the sauce and I'm like, I want to try right, this. I got the now. cheese there, by the way. He still nice has cheese. to do a little bit of climb before he falls because the animation only occurs when he's from up high for some reason. Um, but it's still a lot faster than uh, the alternative. Where are you, Snorpy? Where are you at, my friend? There. Wait, no, that's. What are you doing up there? You don't go for. You don't go up there. What? What's going on? Guys, exploring. <laughs> Wild. I didn't know you could follow the the little baby cakes. Yeah. Usually he comes from the side, so that's what I was waiting for. Okay, so that's that. Um, we actually, as of that point, we have caught every bug snack in the game, by the way. Those were the last two we needed. Um, we have a few cleanup things to do in terms of side quests, but we've basically uh, accomplished 100%. Getting pretty close, actually. Yeah, so it's just clean up stuff at this point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just got a, a little bit of cleanup here. We have to do 100% of the game before we finish it, by the way, because there is a point of no return. 
um, where you cannot collect anything else um, after you hit the point of no return. You can't catch bug snacks or anything like that. Um, so you have to do everything before that point. And if you miss At least they warn you before. Yeah, they give you a big, big clear warning. So that is nice. Um, but if uh, for some reason you go on without having collected everything, um, then you have to um, finish the game, let the credits run. Oops, I'll pet, pet the black lol, why not? Um, finish the game, let the credits run. Well, what am I, I didn't, and then uh, go back into the game and get whatever it is that you missed, well. <laughs> which takes up a lot of time. Alternatively, actually, no, I'll mention that later. <laughs> I'll mention that later when it's happening, so I don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got another donation that came in. Yeah, go on. Heck yeah. From Bunger. And it says, uh, Bunger, Bunger, Bunger. For $10.93 10 USD, bringing us to four ninety. We're $10 away. $10 away. Come on, let's go. That's From awesome. The, the first, uh, the first, uh, oh. I can't think of the word right now. <laughs> My the first donation. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks so much for donating, and I'll, I'll hit that with the bunger real quick. If you want to join Ness, you can afterwards or whatever. Bunger? Bunger, 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 bunger? Okay. Bunger? Um, yeah. Bunger, bunger, bunger? Okay. See, that's pretty good. You sell yourself short. Um, okay, so let's go over a few things. Um, okay, so um, side quests first. Got them all done. I need to make sure they're all crossed off. Interviews, all done. Um, bug snacks, 9 of 9, 13 of 13, 12 of 12, 15 of 15, 12 of 12, 15 of 15, 10 of 10, 14, 14, good. And then clues, we got them all, yes. Great. Um, let's go talk to you, Phil, though. Wow. Now we can hit the point of no return. There we go. Final party time, but it's a little bit more involved than the other ones. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot more. Okay. I walked through the, uh... The thing. I walked through the radio somehow. That was interesting. I've never seen that before. <laughs> All kinds of firsts for you, Game Over Cancer. How, how about that? I understand you. Um, so, the object here is to get everyone to dance. Everyone has their own specific conditions. For example, Shelda will not dance until that orb over her head is broken. Um, so, I set myself up in a way that uh, it breaks during the cutscene, and then it'll just run on its own. And then Have I you ever seen Super Monkey Ball? It's like that. Yeah, it's exactly like that. It's like the goal. Yeah, it's like the party ball. All right, so we already got three back. We're going to pick up this cup here. Wait, it is like the party ball. Yeah, it's like the same thing. <laughs> it's, it's literally a party ball. Wait. Yeah, it's big. This is just super what? monkey ball in disguise. Grandma, Why have I never put two and two together like that? No, but I... that's, that's, that's wild. Oh, I got caught in like three different cutscenes at once there. My body, I was shifting all over the place. There we go. But we're good. Everything is still going according to plan. Alright, so a few more here. Getting people to dance. Um, Floofy doesn't see a scientific purpose of dancing. Um, Triffany here, who is like an archaeologist, um, kind of talks about like the cultural significance of dancing. And then Floofy's like, I'll buy that. So that gets them to dance. Yeah, they're, like, they're like, heck yeah. Science. I'm gonna dance for science, and then if you look at them, it's like the most dancing attempt I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, the best one by far at the, is the ones we do at the end, with, which is Chanlo and Snorpy. Um, basically, like, Snorpy through this whole time is, like, not sure, like, where he stands with Chanlo. Like, he's in love with Chanlo, but he doesn't know, like, if Chanlo feels the same way or, like, where they're at in their relationship. And then Chanlo is just like, we've been dating for, like, four years. What are you talking about? And then that's, like, the whole thing. And then they're just like, I love you. That's it. That's It's, it's over. And it's just yeah, like that's so funny to me. It's just like really wholesome, but also exactly what like a himbo would do. Yeah, that's like you still need to interview Whisper, right? So life imitates art. Our I'll put it like end is nigh, by the way. Remember end. Steve's donation from all the way back then? Is, is that a metaphor? That's the first line. Is nigh. Yeah. Zelda is Steve's favorite character, that's why it's just, uh, Steve loves donating for that one. Heck yeah. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, we're gonna get another classic Sheldon line back to back. All right. Here it goes. Guys, ready? I know this looks bad, but as long as we keep calm, oh, our so doom ready. approaches. Pray to your gods, children. 
run. Here's yep, that was the other part of that line. Um, we got a solid like three minute cutscene here. If we want to do like any last donation, plugs, incentives, we happen to hit that goal, that would be great. Um, we're gonna be a little bit uh, jam packed in the end here. So if we have any anything to plug right now, it's a good time. That's right. All right. Well, the only thing I want to plug is that we're just. Ten dollars away right. from our first Hope milestone. Uh, you heard the runners. This is gonna like this final stretch Come to the on, end. Bro. This is gonna be uh, the last, uh, the last as run as of the night until we'll tomorrow. Let's see if Come we can reach that uh, that uh, milestone uh, by then. We cannot go to bed without having hit that milestone. Come on, chat. We can do this. We can absolutely do this. Ten more dollars. That's it. And if we do get ten dollar reduced, yeah. If we get that ten dollars during my, you know, the jam packed ending we got here, please interrupt me because I want to know. I want to know when we hit it. So also, if we if we hit that ten dollars, I'll even try a Strabby impression. Okay. Um, uh, let's see, what, I, have, I have the range. Yeah, you have, yeah, you may, I'm trying to think, I don't even remember what Strabby sounds like at the top of my head. I think I got it. I'll try it too. If, um, if we had cams up for this marathon, I actually have a stuffed Strabby right next to me. Brings me good luck. Hey, everybody. Chandlo, Flufty, Mr. Trouble Ham. Um... But yeah, um, everyone play Bugs Next, by the way. Like, again, cannot just, cannot say it enough. Buy this game. Like I said, it's on sale all the time for like less than $20, probably. At most, it's $30. That's like its retail price. Um, so like, it's just a great value. You can't go wrong. This game is just like if Pokemon was made in the modern age and also if it wasn't a JRPG. Mm -hmm. Like it would 100 would it would 100 percent be this game. Yep. Quiet you. This also, game is so good. As someone who also speedruns Pokemon games a lot, I one thing I like about it is that it's similar to Pokemon in terms of like all these different things you can catch, but you don't have to battle them. Like you don't have to battle them head to head. There's not like that you know cruelty aspect which you don't which you don't love to see. So yeah. And also, there's a lot yeah, instead you just more like diverse characters and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Instead, you just fling them and catch them, so it's not like totally better, but it's like a little bit better. It looks being like flung around is kind of fun. Yeah, and like they're not hurt; they just get dazed for a second, then they're back to normal. You know, it's fine. But what do we do when the queen zooming in on Cromdo's pepperoni nose? When I have a few. Traps I hate when like use? their noses get changed. It looks so weird every single time. Yeah, and everyone's nose gets changed. <laughs> I like Triffany's pe uh, pickle nose though. Wait, is Wambus's nose just like vanilla nose? Yeah, I, did, I didn't transform. I didn't give Wambus enough snacks to transform his nose. Basically. Snorpy's true vanilla nose fits though. Okay, that one, that one's fine. Yeah. And the sub nose kind of fits too. Let's get to it then. I can't believe, I can't believe you fed the bug snacks vegan. He has a strabby head. Wow. I want that hat so bad. <laughs> if anyone, if anyone has like crocheting or knitting talent and like would love a commission on that hat that Gramble wears, I'll pay you because that hat is just like super cute and like it would I would fit, too. It would fit my vibe. Yeah. So you got two, you got two clients oh, if you know. want, like uh, two commissions. If if anyone out there is good at sewing or whatever. We will do I, that. I'll, I'll pop some googly eyes on that on that bad boy. Just mm -hmm. oh man, I want so it good. so bad. It'd be so good. Um, so we are now finally going to go through the door. We're gonna see where what happened to Lizbert. What's going on? But this bad news: the door is just a tunnel. Uh, how yeah. Water? Let me check your vitals. But we're we're finally gonna get through it. Besides, so everything that we've done to two hours and what sixteen minutes? Right. Yeah. Through so far. But um, if you were to, to run the any percent category, you can do in literally less than six minutes. I've done uh, it in less than ten before. Yeah, yeah, and it's really it's not that hard. Like the tricks that are in any percent, like they're hard they're hard to do fast, but they're not hard to do. Um, so like the barrier for entry and speed running this game is actually very very easy. And then like if you want to like go on to like master it and like get really fast at the tricks, that's one thing. But. Um, the tricks themselves are not hard to learn. Like I walk, I, wa I walked Ness through basically every trick, um, and you probably finished the game in like 30 minutes, I bet. If I had to guess. Uh, that time that, that we were in VC and you walked me through it, it was like sub 30 for sure. Yeah. But I've done it like by myself, just like from me watching your streams and stuff. I've done it in like under 40 before. 
So yeah, this is the tunnel. Oh no, it's not a tunnel! It's the Undersnacks. The Unders- This is the last area. <laughs> yeah, that we see. Last, yeah, last um, new area, and there's not really anything that happens. Uh, you want do you want to talk about the dev skip? That <laughs> oh yeah, usually get to talk about the dev skip. Okay. Yeah. So, in in the understacks, completely like outside of like, just like the tunnels and stuff, um, underneath entirely, like map basically, there is a load zone to get into the next area, um, and the dev said that there's a clip in here somewhere. I have no idea where. Uh, people with, like, uh, strat hunted and stuff to try and find where you can clip out, but you have, uh, no running, you, you have no, none of your items, you can't do basically anything, <laughs> you just walk around, and that's it. Yep. Uh, but if, you, if there's a way to clip out, it would save actually, like, two minutes, I think. Yeah, it would save a lot of time. That would be, like, the last, that would be, like, when you get to, um... Like any percent, basically, so from this point forward, by the way, any category you run is exactly the same. Um, so any percent, no major skips 100%, this point forward, it's the same. There's nothing that can be skipped from this point forward. Um, but if we could figure out this skip, that would save like major, major time, two minutes. That would bring, that would bring any percent into striking distance of like 11 minutes on PC and probably like 13 minutes on console, I bet. Okay. Uh, also, something to mention, uh, PC has loadless and console does not. Mm -hmm. As most console games don't have loadless. Yeah. Wait, if you're what do you mean? It's only a... And it, uh, it does have an auto splitter as well, if you're interested in that. So. No. Yeah, you, the game runs itself for you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm sitting here. I've definitely, like, strat hunted here, though, for a while. No. I've, I've been here for, like, probably no. in total, like... 10 hours and over just like absentmindedly like in VCs just like trying to jump in places and stuff. Yeah. I can't believe nobody has found it yet. So like these ledges on the side that hold like these smaller bug snacks, by the way, you can get up onto at least the first ledge and sometimes the second ledge. Um, but still nothing. You still, nothing you can do about that. Like, oh yeah, but, uh, that's like the loading zone. Like the floor just disappears from underneath you and then you fall into the load zone. If you can get if you can get that to happen earlier, it would save a bunch of time. Yeah. Well, also, in that cutscene, uh, is a very, very heartwarming cutscene. Basically, those birds there. Uh, she's like, the bug snacks actually are really bad. Uh oh. Um, and then she was starting to come to them, and then Ego was like, my love, my beloved, I will save you. And then uh, they join forces to not make the bug snacks kill everyone. Um, bad news: the bug snacks are still going to kill everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the island is collapsing. Bug snacks, we find out, are actually parasitic. Um, so it's not just a, you know, cute little like, oh, you eat them and your limbs turn into a thing for a little while. It's that they're they're in you. They're trying to control your mind and stuff. So they're not good. Yeah, they're cute. They are cute. They are cute, but uh, they're not as wholesome as they appear to be. And uh, now they have gone full on attack. You know, um, Lizbert, who has become the queen of bug snacks under there, was holding them off for this long, but she couldn't hold them off anymore, which is why Egabel joins forces to hold them off just a little bit longer for us to escape. And we have to go through the gauntlet. It was a very heartwarming cutscene, though. Yeah, it's very good. Again, so much good lore here. You just, we, we skip through all the dialogue just to, for the sake of going fast, but I really miss that one. But yeah, uh, this is the gauntlet. Basically, uh, all of your, like, tools turn into weapons, and you, you can kill stuff. It's very cool. Um, and you're trying to prevent all, like, the people from eating the bug snacks, because if they eat too many, at this point, they will die. And it's really, really sad. I've actually never seen the deaths until somewhat recently. <laughs> yeah. When, uh, when I was in a VC with Conception, my beloved, and... It was like 2 a.m. or something, and I was like, what if, what if I did this? And he's like, I don't know, I've never seen it. Yeah. I was and... at that point, I had not seen it myself, <laughs> having played this game for probably like hundreds of hours. I still hadn't even seen it, which is kind of bizarre. But yeah, man, it's like, I equate it to like, if you're a Marvel fan and you watch like Avengers uh, Infinity War, when everyone just like starts turning to dust, like all your favorite heroes are dying, and you're just like sitting there crying. It was like that, but worse probably because there's more sentimental value here. It was worse because the writing was really good. It was, yeah. just, like, it was way better than it needed to be. Yeah. Because like, 
like a bunch of them like like ended up just like dying to their to their hubris or whatever. That's what they were blaming it on. It was like really sad. Yep, exactly. Because yeah, uh, we've touched upon it a lot. They all have like their own very distinctive personalities and interests, right? So, for example, Chanlo here, um, he is very focused on like getting strong so he can like protect his loved ones and things like that. And like when he, when he succumbs to the bug snacks, that's what it, it it touches upon. Like he wasn't strong enough. Like he should have he should have eaten more bug snacks so that he could have gotten stronger to protect everybody. And it's just like, my God, rip your heart out. I, I liked that better before I knew what happened. Yeah, yeah, kind of blissfully unaware. Um, this, so, and even with like Cromdo, he was like, he was like, oh, he's like, oh dang, I died. No, I, I like feel it. I really should have just been nicer to everyone. Like I, yeah. know I could have, and you know my hubris like got me this far. And I was like, no, yeah. I don't even like you that much. But no. Yeah, it makes you feel for Cromdo, who's probably the most evil. The least evil character, character. Yeah. 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 That's that's how bad it is. Um, all right, so I'm going to focus on barrels here if you want to talk about what it is that we're trying to do here. Yeah, so in terms of where we're at with using the tools and stuff, um, we're using the launch pad now, which uh, seems very easy, kind of. Um, but you have to get all of these, I don't remember what they're called. Cheap poofs. <laughs> yeah, you have to get all the cheap poofs. Um, and to do the cycles as fast as possible, uh, you want to try and get them all in one barrel, because obviously that'd be the fastest. Um, but it's really, really difficult, because you can't really uh, just snap onto one of them and then just time it. Um, there's specific parts on the back that you have to aim for, and you have to time it really well. And if you don't miss and you time everything right, uh, you'll use just the amount that you need. I think you hit a bunch of threes and then one two at the very end yep basically we clear every wave with one barrel except the last wave which has too many bug snacks and then we we do it in two barrels so yeah that was clean <laughs> yep that was exactly how it should go but it's very easy to mess it up because it's not only um it's not only timing based but it's location based so there's only like a select area that this is going to work out so you have to not only time it but you have to place it so there's a lot a lot of factors at play there way more difficult also, than you would think this challenge is definitely like the easiest one. Besides like uh, Chanlo's, that one's easy because <laughs> you can't fail yeah. it. You literally can't fail it. And you can't do it faster or slower, really. Um, but yeah, this one is pretty easy. Uh, we have a, a spiky rolly ball. We just roll over the bug snacks, but the spawns are the same every time. So I know exactly where they're going to be. So it's really not that hard. The only thing that can be a little weird is when the ball decides to act funky like it just did there, but I still got him. It wasn't a, the end of the world. Yeah, see, it, yeah. sometimes it, do, it likes to just go in a circle for some reason, as opposed to, like, doing actually what it's supposed to do. But, so, just delayed it a little bit, but it was, I don't think I even lost time there because I recovered nicely. Yeah, and it's really hard to fail this one, even if you're doing it, like, for the first time and you're, like, nervous or whatever. Um, just because you can keep it at, in like a couple of places for the most part, and I, I did this when I was first playing the game too. Uh, you, you can keep it in like a couple of places pretty close to them, and they just kind of just walk into it. Yeah. It, yeah. There's like there's only three spots on the ground that they can spawn really, besides like one random wave that just pops out of nowhere for some reason. That they, they don't even like come up from the ground; they just appear. Um, but yeah, they, there's like only three spots on the ground they can appear. So like. You got, even if you don't know where they're going to be, you got a one in three shot of getting it right anyway. And they're not even far away from each other. Yeah. And honestly, uh, that one isn't very hard. Uh, the tripwire one isn't very hard. And this one isn't very hard coming up. It's just yeah. sp special sauce slingshot. Yeah. It's I don't even know what the spe special sauce is, but yeah. yeah. Who knows? Kind of afraid to ask. But yeah, basically, um,. It's all about just placing the sauce in the most advantageous, advantageous points so that they the bug snacks die as fast as possible. Um, and again, the spawns are the same every time, so I know exactly where they're going to be. I, j I can even place the sauce there ahead of time and shoot Wambus with some sauce if I want to. Yeah, and I think there's even like a special sauce plan or something. So if you so if you run out, you still, you still get more. Yeah, you you start like you start that challenge with full, which is twenty. <gasps> oh no. What? I've just realized I didn't max my inventory. Oh, never mind. 
I didn't. Re I didn't max my inventory. Well, interesting. Um, I'm not yeah. gonna do that. I'm not gonna bother. All I needed to do was turn in the bug snacks I have in my inventory and then max my inventory. So like, I 100% yeah. of the game. I, I just didn't like. You didn't. You did it. the entire route. You just. Yeah. Didn't, you just forgot the one menu. Yeah. So like, otherwise we'd have to sit here through the credits for like 10 minutes. I'm not gonna bother to do that. Um. But yeah, so all, all I had needed to do was turn in the bug snacks and uh, finish that challenge. That's it. Also, I want to mention in this last cutscene right here. Um, so Lisbert and Agabel come down. Um, there's also all of the legendary snacks, despite us apparently killing them. Uh, they came back. Yep. Um, yeah. And also, um, if you didn't want to, if you didn't 100% the game and you let any characters die uh when you talk to Phil philbo here uh he lets you redo that entire like la last section of the game mm -hmm. to try to not like kill them all right yep exactly so like you could always give it another shot yeah i know it's yeah i get great all right awesome so now we're time is coming up by the way um so we are we are going to be pretty underestimate so which is pretty good <laughs> Just have this last little cutscene we have to mash through. And time. GG. Yeah. I, despite how wild everything was, all of these weird things that had happened, if this run happened before yesterday, it would have been world record still. So, uh, <laughs> So yeah, that, that just goes to show you there's always all kinds of improvements and stuff that can be made to the run and the route and stuff like that. You just gotta you just gotta nail it in execution. Um, but yes, ultimately that that's it. That's Bug Snacks 100. Um, thanks to you know Streiser, everyone that's involved with Game Over Cancer for including me in this. Um, I, it was uh, an honor to close out day one here. I'm very excited. Uh, if uh, do you have any plugs there, Ness? Uh, follow twitch.tv slash conception sr. Uh, follow twitch.tv slash ness underscore. Uh, follow our Twitters, get me verified on twitter.com. <laughs> yeah, which is uh, four N's and ness underscore, I believe, is your Twitter. And then, um, yeah, mine is just conception sr to keep it to keep it easy. I'll also, say again, um, I do run a GDQ hotfix show. So if you happen to run an awful or silly game and you would like to potentially be featured, you can either message me. Um, you, or I do have on my pinned tweet and Twitter a, uh, a submission form that you can submit your runs to. And if you want to learn how to speedrun this game, um, come on by. We have a Discord server. We have you know the speedrun.com page. Uh, you can that links to the Discord server, and then we got all kinds of resources, videos, guides, whatever you need to get started. Um, any percent is a very short category. Um, if you want to get on something shorter, or if you want you know some longer, more uh, more involved categories, you can always do no major skips or 100 percent so um yeah other than that uh, did we happen to hit that goal before the end malkrios or no unfortunately we did not oh. but we still ah. raised 490 dollars today which is fantastic uh it just means that tomorrow we're gonna reach that that milestone real quick and we'll be right on uh right on hurrying on to the next one Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Thank you, everyone who's donated so far. And yeah, that's that's it for me. I appreciate it again. Thanks for having me. Play bug snacks. Coming? Play bug snacks. <laughs> Definitely should. It's twice that I've seen it played now. Once casually by by a friend of mine, and uh, now once in, at a speed run. And I really should put the time in and playing it myself. But uh, thanks everybody it. for stopping by. Uh, this closes out the first day of game over cancer we will be back tomorrow let me just pull up that schedule right here we're going to be back tomorrow at same starting time at 5 45 eastern uh 5 45 p.m eastern i should say we've got a few uh long speed runs uh tomorrow with monster hunter world silent hill homecoming and hades so do feel free to come by and support these runners uh, now, so we will be leaving this running a little bit and uh, calling it a night. We've all earned uh, some fantastic rest and uh, hoping to see you all tomorrow. <laughs>